Yo! Welcome in the Knicks now. You are about to watch OG Ananobi play his first basketball game for the New York Knicks. Happy New Year to everybody out there. I hope everybody's a little bit groggy this morning, a little bit hungover, needing a big cup of water because I hope everybody had a good time. Hope everyone was responsible. Hope everyone was safe. But I know this much. I woke up and I felt like a kid on Christmas morning because, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of OG Ananobi. I've been talking about Ananobi as a perfect fit alongside Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle since the Knicks were talked about as a prime Donovan Mitchell destination in the summer of 2022. OG is a great fit. Does it stink to see a guy like Emmanuel quickly go? Absolutely. It stinks to see RJ Barrett go. But I think just if everyone just took a step back and they remove emotion and they really think about what this trade is and will be for the New York Knicks, they got an upgrade at the small forward position. And in this league, you have to have a small forward that can guard multiple positions, hit threes, and be able to kind of be an elite defender. That's just what you need. And R.J. Barrett, sadly, had not gotten to that point in his career. I think R.J. is going to be a good player for Toronto. He's going to have a very long career, and he's going to be a 20-point-per-game guy. I think Emmanuel quickly may become the next big point guard that goes from a, redu from a reduced role to a starting role. We know Emmanuel quickly is great. But I really do believe this trade for OG and Anobi not only makes the Knicks better right now, but in the future as well. Because now, more so than ever, you are truly one piece away from not contending for the Eastern Conference Finals. Contending to be an NBA champion. Let's go. I'm excited to see OG and Anobi play some basketball today. Let's just remember it's one game. It's one game. Long way to go. He was on a different team Saturday morning. Let's not make any definitive decisions going into today. Let's get a real one roll call going on as we're still about 27, 26 minutes away from tip-off. If you're a real one, drop a real one down in the comments section. Justin Williams in the chat. What's up, man? Aiden, what's going on? He says he's UK New York Knicks fan, loving the OG move. I understand why anyone would be a little bit upset that the Knicks traded for OG. And I could, I could bet it could have been any player. It's not just OG. You see a guy like Emmanuel quickly go, that you draft, that you develop, that's a key part of your team. One of the most fun players the New York Knicks have had in a long time. And of course, R.J. Barrett, the third overall pick. A lot of players, were people were attached to R.J. We wanted him to be that guy, and he may be that guy down the road. But it just didn't fit our timeline right now. The Knicks made an absolute upgrade. Matthew, what's going? Is O.G. playing today? Absolutely. freaking lutely O.G. and Anobi is playing basketball today. Uh, did they say anything about what we're doing for sponsors or anything? Oh. All righty. Um, let's do this, Smitty. Can you, can you make a weigh-in for me that says grade the OG Ananobi trait, A, B, C, D, or F? Just because I'm curious what everybody's thinking. We do have a live poll, and 50% of the people have said A. So I do, uh, I do appreciate that, uh, that everybody did join in on that live poll. Michael Vasquez in the building. What's going on? Matthew Smithson in the building as well. Let's go, Knicks. Let me check. Uh, give me a second, guys. We're still kind of getting things rolling on this end. But I am excited to see OG and Anobi play some basketball for the New York Knicks today. Um, very, very excited about that. It's factor and prize picks. So let's do factor first seven, prize picks first 30, and then alternate quarters. All righty, all righty. Yeah, we got, we got about two minutes to get into factor. Grade the OG and an OB trade for me down in the comment section. A, B, C, D, or F. Uh, Bryce Ferguson says, is he starting? Yes, OG and an OB is going to be your starting small forward for the foreseeable future. And tonight is day one of that tenure. Michael Vasquez grades it an A. Johnson, you in the building, what up? Because I'm an RJ fan, not a Knicks fan. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I think that they're making a Toronto Raptors uh, chat sports channel coming up here pretty soon. So if you are an RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly fan, you can go, uh, you can go subscribe to that. Raptors, Raptors report. The Raptors report. What do y'all think about that? 
Joe gives it, says, Marsh, it's OG and Obi the best defender in the league right now. I'm not going to put that pressure on him, and I'm not sure that he's uh, deserving of that label. Last year, he was second, all MB, uh, second team all defense. Um, he's good. I would say he's a top 15 wing defender, no doubt about it, and probably closer to top 10. I mean, 6'8", 230, 7 foot 2 wingspan. Really good at meeting the, meeting the shot at the point of attack. Really good rim protector. We're going to continue to rock and roll here on today's pregame show. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor has really kind of changed my life for me a little bit. Just in the simple fact that I'm a guy that lives a busy lifestyle. And I don't love going to the grocery store. I don't love cooking my meals. I got a, I got a bargain for uh, stove time between Rolly and Seeps. And that's why I got hooked up with Factor. Head to factormeals.com slash NixChat50. Use the promo code NixChat50. And you're going to save yourself 50% off. Look, if you're looking for chef-prepared, dietitian approved fresh, never-frozen meals that take just two minutes in the microwave to heat up, I'm telling you, you guys need to check out Factor. One thing I like about it is you can get food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I really love the smoothies that they have. They have protein shakes. They have a coffee protein shake that I'm a big fan of. You guys should check out Factor. The food is awesome. You can stay on track with your fitness goals. If you want low-calorie meals, they have that. If you want low-carb meals, they have that. If you want high-protein meals, they have that. Factor is the spot for you. Get hooked up with them. All that information is going to be clickable down in the comments and description. That's factormeals.com slash nickschat50. Factormeals.com slash nickschat50. Big shout out to Factor for sponsoring today's show. I want to bring on my guy, producer, producer extraordinaire, one of the, one of the smartest NBA guys we've got here at Chat Sports, Smitty. First off, let's give a big shout out to Smitty for coming yeah. in today, producing today's show. Smitty didn't have to do this. Um, look, it's his off day. It's a holiday. And I was like, yo, Smitty, Nick's made a big trade. I need you in the office. He's like, I'm there. I'm ready to watch some Nick soups. Smitty, That's give right. me your just kind of take reaction and thoughts on this trade for the New York Knicks. Sure, and I'm coming to this from a, a Knicks hater perspective. Not a Knicks fan. Big-time Celtics fan. Like, uh, I'm telling you guys this straight up and what I think of the deal. R.J. Barrett was a net negative for the Knicks. And uh, you're a Duke fan. And I'm a Duke fan. And I'm a Duke fan. So I'm saying right now, R.J. Barrett has been a net negative for the Knicks. He has not progressed 1% as a player since he was drafted. I mean, no, quickly, that's a loss. You know, no ends after much about it. He's one of the few guards who could score at a high level and defend pretty well in this league. So I, I like quickly a lot. But OG Ananobi's a game-changing player. He's a guy who could be a third or fourth best player on a championship team. The Knicks are that one piece away now from really contending in the East and for a championship. I think this is a right direction move. It shows the Knicks are they, – they care about winning. I think OG Ananobi is a winning basketball player. What do you think mostly he's going to change? Like what, what do you think is going to be a difference – for the Knicks, maybe on offense? Because I think you are going to lose Emmanuel quickly. Look, that's 36 points between IQ and R.J. Barrett you're going to have to replace. And that's not OG's game. He's an yeah. 18 to 20 point per game guy. Maybe it goes up a little bit with more usage. But I also think that the ability for him to stretch the floor and be a spot-up three-point shooter, especially in those corners, it's just going to open up the lane for Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. One of the highest percentage corner three shooters in the league is O.J. Ananobi. Um now, when you lose a guy like Quickly or Barrett, who, let's be honest, primarily scored off the dribble, you lose that kind of scoring from any spot ability. OJ Anobi isn't somebody you're going to go give the ball to and be like, hey, go get me a bucket at yeah. any point. He, he shoots efficiently, but he, it's because he's selective. So he's not you know, that guy who's take, you know, taking the ball up the floor and it's a one-man show. It's not his game. Um, but just the versatility of stretching the floor and rely, being a reliable outside shooter is something the Knicks fans could be excited about. I'm excited to see him play for this team, grow with this team. I really want to give the starting lineup a shot, uh, unless you make another trade by January 15th for a guy like DeJounte Murray for Evan Fournier's expiring. Is that something that you're looking for? I think you got to get something for Evan Fournier's expiring money. Uh, if you don't, I think that's, that's unacceptable. That's malpractice. He doesn't play, and it's, that's a valuable trade ship. Like you got a match salary in this league, and $18 million isn't easy just to come by especially when it's expiring. So uh, you package that. He didn't trade any first-round picks for OG and Obi. I think you can make two more trades if you're the New York Knicks. And I think that 
the trade that you make at the deadline isn't the one that you're saying takes you over the top. Because I think it just takes Fournier and a couple of first-round picks. Let's give them two unprotected, two protected. Our protected picks are what they are. There's reasons that we have not been able to go and get stars that we want. Go get DeJounte Murray. He is a player that, I don't know if he's a long-term fit for this team, but it absolutely makes you better right now. And who's to say you can't trade DeJounte Murray next year? Who's to say a package around for a star that involves DeJounte Murray, Quentin Grimes, and three more per first-round picks isn't appealing for a guy like, let's just say, Donovan Mitchell or someone out west that's going to become available inevitably? I think it makes you better now, and I think it makes your trade package stronger in the future. That's why I would go do it. You have $17 million, 18.8, excuse me, expiring for Fournier, so go make the move. We did have a couple of super chats pop yeah, in. Yeah, Let's roll through those. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up icon. We got 300 people watching as we're still probably about 10, 15 minutes away from tip off. So please hit that thumbs up icon. Um, it's Monday. It is a holiday. Um, so that means it's just me and producer Smitty in here. And you guys know what that means. When the bosses are gone, we can act a little bit different. We can have a little bit more fun. Get wild. You guys know that they have told me that we cannot drink Hennessy on the show, but they're not here, and I promise you they're not watching. They're probably having fun with their kids, being a good family men that there are. So I thought it was a good idea to potentially maybe bring out the Henny today. Uh, I'm still rolling from New Year's last night. I don't know about you, Smitty. Now I got a little bad hangover, and yep. you know what they say. The best way to kill a hangover is to just dive right back in. Keep so, drinking. We're, we're, doing, we're doing $20 Henny shots today. We're, we're doing it for OG. It's OG's debut. We're going to have some fun today. Let's rock out. Hit that thumbs up icon. Let's roll. Valentina official coming in with a $5 super chat. What's going on, man? It says, feel great about the trade. Flynn looks like another DiVincenzo. Precious is just that precious. I know a lot of people are uh, excited, obviously, about OG Ananobi coming to play for the Knicks. But I do think that you may, you're going to get some production from Precious Chua. Malachi Flynn is not playing today. He's got an ankle injury. I don't really expect Flynn to be a guy that's going to play a whole lot of minutes for the Knicks. Uh, maybe they do until if and when they make that next trade for a backup guard, because that is a problem the Knicks are going to have to fix right now. But I do think Preston Chu is going to help this team, Smitty. I mean, let's High be motor honest. player. We are thin at center without Mitchell Robinson, and as much as we all love, appreciate, and respect the OG Taj Gibson, um... Precious Achua is very, very uh, – he is much better than a guy like Taj Gibson at this point in his career. It's just safe to say he's got fresher legs. Yes. Pre Precious Achua, <laughs> he literally just has fresher legs. And I think he's a high-motor player. I think he's going to give you a little bit of attitude, muscle down low, and Nick's like big men like that. From and the Bronx. Yep, from the Bronx. Played, it, played his high school ball in New York, uh, so he knows what it, what, it's, what it takes to be a, a New York hooper. We uh, need one of those on these t this team. Protect not, the garden. We were talking about Don't it. Don't be afraid to throw a bow first game and become a fan favorite. That's Precious right. Chua. I mean, remember Ennis Cantor? Like, that guy was a Nick. That guy throwing bows. And <laughs> if Precious Chua comes out today and Anthony Edwards is driving down the lane and he goes and gets a flagrant foul, there I may have least, to get a jersey. There better be at least two teeth missing. I me. need – that's you're a fan favorite. You're a fan favorite if you, that what, happens you, you, today. You get suspended maybe a game. It's worth it. Maybe a game. Imagine the jersey sales. Oh, my God. One thing I do want to point out why I like the Precious Achua edition, he is a little bit undersized, six foot eight, but he makes up for it in muscle, length, and vertical ability. But he also fills a need for the Knicks. The Knicks, at, at their best, are the best offensive rebounding team in the NBA. They lost that with Mitchell Robinson. And I'm not saying Achua is anywhere close to Robinson. Robinson's the best in the league. Achua is simply not. But he averages two offensive rebounds in 17 and a half minutes per game. So you're at least getting that to help your team off the bench. Gibson wasn't really giving you that. And Hartenstein's ability to kind of affect the game on the offensive glass has dropped down a little bit since he's been inserted through that starting lineup. I'm excited to see Precious Achua play some basketball as well. Kevin, my man, a $20 super chat. Hey, Marsh, what up from the – oh, my man is at the game. Kevin, enjoy it, my man. Have fun. Happy New Year. Let's go, Nix. He says, crazy energy in here tonight. Is this like 
Are we going to look back at this, Smitty, and say we didn't, not we as in Knicks fans, but I'm speaking to them and including you in the conversation. Are we going to look back and say there was an underappreciation for OG Ananobi when he first came to this team? Maybe because he's not the savior, but he is someone that makes you so much more desirable and a prime spot for a star to force his way to the Knicks now. I agree. I, I think that I think with the you want to play next to RJ Barrett, or you want to play next to OG and an OB. It's not even a question. <laughs> it's not even a conversation. The thing is, I, I think Knicks fans, you know, whenever they make a big roster move like this, something that changes the team. Even for Josh Hart last year, you could see how excited Knicks fans were just about getting a new face in the arena and somebody to kind and of. Right now, I'm not spark. feeling that. I'm not yeah. feeling that right now. There's no spark. Oh, you're not feeling it. I, I don't. I don't feel that from the fan base. I feel it. I feel it. But I don't feel that from the fan base. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Knicks fans really had their blinders on with losing RJ and Quickly. I know Quickly is a very talented player, and I, and I said that before. But uh, I think be you got the best. a good starting point guard for the Raptors for 10 years. That's, that's awesome. Good for him. And they're, they're not going to win a single playoff series. You were never going to win a championship with Emmanuel Quickly and Jalen Brunson playing 40, 35 minutes together in the playoffs. It's never going to happen. And they're good players. And I know the on-off data tells you Quickly is the part of every Knicks best lineup. I can't get out of my mind, Smitty, what happened in the playoffs. He no-showed. Had one of the best seasons off the bench. I think he had a Knicks high uh, and plus-minus in the in Knicks franchise history last yeah. year. And in the playoffs, he averaged nine points on awful efficiency. I know yeah, it was limited it was sample size, shooter. but in this league, those nine games you play in the playoffs are sometimes – those can those really can change somebody's career. Kevin at the Garden. I got a shot of Henny. Let's ride. We're doing $20 Henny shots today. Um, it's a holiday. We get to watch OG and we play basketball for the Knicks. And then Creed coming in, a first-time super chatter. My man Creed has come a long, long way. We got off to a rocky relationship. That's my guy now. Shout out to Creed. Let's go. Shout out Creed, first-time super chatter. <coughs> Let's get it. Woo! <laughs> Holy fuck, that's 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 brutal. That's brutal. We got almost 400 people watching. If you haven't left, if, Jesus Christ. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon. Hey, we're struggling a little bit, but hey, we're here. We're ready to watch some basketball. Oh, I'm excited. I feel like it's it's going to feel like a playoff game in the garden today. And Smitty, we haven't even talked about the game at all. This is a very good team you're playing in the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, OG and Anobi getting thrown into the fire. Saying go guard Ann Edwards. Go guard the top three wing in the league. Okay. <laughs> go prove your worth on night one against Anthony Edwards. Yep, in, fr in front of the home crowd that you're going to be playing in front of for the next foreseeable future. This could be uh, – there's oh, no upside. Ways. It could go I feel like there's no upside for today. It's only – only only could be bad. No, because he – Because you're – you were – you're not. You already lost to the Timberwolves oh, with RJ Barrett I, and quickly. I cannot wait until uh, for his. It's stat there's line, going to be a meltdown for his stat line of three for eight, twelve points, and Knicks fans are burning Twitter down. <laughs> Knicks might win, and he might be, but as, as long as OG and Obi does not drop twenty five, Knicks fans are going to have a meltdown. Shout out to the real ones in the chat: Four K Anthony, Shane, Stacks, Levi's the best, Will. Aiden Wren, Kid Lamar, Michael Vasco's, Terrence Myers in the building. What up? Home run hitters is back. Uh, let's go. He says, Knicks better beat Miami in the playoffs. I think this type of move, Smitty, helps you. I know R.J. Barrett had some good games against the Heat and those, ex those offensive games where he had 20. And look, you probably don't beat the Cavs without R.J. So I just want to make that clear that R.J. had some big-time moments with the Knicks. Um, but I think adding a guy like OG Ananobi over RJ Barrett simply just prepares you better to play a team like Miami in the playoffs. How much more comfortable am I as a coach knowing that not only I have Josh Hart and Quentin Grimes to guard a guy like Jimmy Butler, but now I also have OG Ananobi who I'm going to put on Butler, and now Quentin Grimes and Josh Hart can chase around people like Jaime, uh, Jaime Jaquez and chase around a Tyler Hero and can guard a Duncan Robinson who's been excellent for the Heat this year. It just prepares you better. Um, simply put, uh, I think the Knicks won this trade. They got the best player in the deal. They got off a bad contract. Uh, they improved at a position of need in the starting lineup, which is so critical, in my opinion, of team building. 
and all you gave up was a second round pick. You still have eight tradable first round picks, 10 total first round picks in the next seven years. Uh, Knicks are in a good spot, and I believe another trade's coming. Very, very excited. Hit that thumbs up icon. Got 414 people watching. Once we get to 150 likes, we'll go another, we'll go another Henny shot. Let's ride. Once we get to once we get to 150 likes. If you have liked the video, drop a me in the chat so I know who the real ones are. I gotta show love to the real ones who show love to this channel. Let's go. Steve Chandler coming in with a five time. Steve Chandler! What up, Chandler, my man? Biggest concern is that we have OG here as one of the real ones, and then we also have the real OG, and now OG the player. It gets confusing. You're right. You're right. My guy OG, there's a lot of OGs in this chat, and there literally is a guy whose name is OG who is the most OG supporter of this channel. So it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough, but uh, I've always understood that the more OG you have, the better time you're going to have. And um, the more OGs you have, not only, you guys know what I'm saying. Peter Wynn with a $10 super chat. Hello, Marshall. I am at the game, Peter Wynn. Enjoy it, my man. Have fun. Let's go, Knicks. Peter Wynn, love you, brother. Happy New Year. Wishing everybody, wishing everybody success in here today, this year. Let's go. D Music 181 in the building. HNY from the UK. Yes, an early game for us. That's dedication, Smitty. Holidays. That's We're that's here. the OG and an OB effect. It is. We would not. Listen, we would be, not be here today. We if wouldn't be here. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. It's a holiday for me. I needed some time off. I could be still sleeping right now. But since the Knicks traded for OG and Obi, me and Smitty are here doing the damn thing. Knicks get better. We got to go live. This is the OG and Obi effect, ladies and gentlemen. It is. You're not ready for it. I know there's some people on Twitter telling us the worst trade in the world. We traded RJ Barrett. I really can't we believe traded that Emmanuel was the quickly. reaction. I cannot believe that was the instant reaction to the trade. Like, oh my God, the Knicks got this is, I've understood. This is how I've understood how NBA Twitter reacts. Points per game versus points per game. That's, that's all that's it is. It. Oh my God, the Knicks gave up 34 points per game and they only got back 16. Wow, Knicks, Knicks got fleeced. Knicks got fleeced and they gave up a pick. Oh my God. <laughs> my friend literally told me yesterday and they gave up a second round pick. <laughs> What are you talking about? We have 10 second round picks in the next 10, seven years. And you have seven firsts in the next three drafts. It's ridiculous, man. Oh, my God. Rebel Montana, my man in the building. Shout out to Rebel. That's an OG here at Chat Sports. Rebel, happy new year. Wishing you a lot of play this year, brother. Wishing you a lot of play. You know what I'm talking about. Derek in the building says, should we get... Michael Bridges, uh, Mikel Bridges, yes. The other Bridges, no. We do not want the other Bridges on this basketball team. Mikel Bridges, absolutely. Did you see the Pistons are interested in the other Bridges? They said of course they, they are. <laughs> of course they are. They Nick Davidov in the building. Oh, Davidov, I know you're at the game. Davidov, have fun at the game today, my man. Enjoy it. A new era of Knicks basketball is starting today. A new era of Knicks basketball. 4K Anthony's in this piece. Let's go. What does the dog say? Roof. <laughs> What's at the top of your mouth? Roof. We coming to tear the one off. Roof. <laughs> 4K Anthony, my man. Happy New Year, bro. Davidov's at the game. I knew it. Sitting courtside. Let's go. Yes, I would love to get the Bridges on the Nets, uh, Derek. I think Bridges would be a perfect fit. Um, but I don't think that – I'll ask you this, Smitty, and I'll ask everybody in the chat. So let me know. You have Jalen Brunson as your point guard. You have OG Ananobi as your three. You have Julius Randle as your four. And when Mitchell Robinson comes back, he's going to be your starting center. What is the ideal shooting guard, in your opinion, to pair alongside that starting lineup? Type of play style, type of player, and maybe if you have a guy in mind, let me know what you think. <sighs> well, it, funny enough, Mikel Bridges fits kind of this mold. He plays the two, three, sometimes can guard the four, too, depending on who the matchup is. Uh, but I want somebody who's long. Jalen Brunson really doesn't give me much in length and you know, the switchability in the yep. playoffs defensively. 
Um, and you know, just like any position you need now, you got to be able to shoot. You got you to be able to shoot. I'm not, I'm not, we're not dealing with no Andre Robersons or Tabo Cephalosha's out here. We're not doing it. We're not dealing with the, you know, the, the streaky shooters anymore. So I, I need a guy who can shoot. I need a guy who's long and a guy who can defend the two, the three, and maybe the four. That's Mikel Bridges. Mikel Bridges would be a great fit. And there's two types of players that I believe fit this type of mold. Uh, not players, two type of play styles. Two different directions the Knicks could go here. Um, option A, in my opinion, Smitty, uh, and I'm not saying this is a better option, it's the first one I'm talking about. I think both are good. Option B leans more to what Smitty said. We'll start with that. Shooting, length, defense. Uh, because Brunson's going to have the ball in his hands a lot, and if you can add a guy like Mikel Bridges, six foot six, multi multifaceted defender. Doesn't need the ball in his hands. Doesn't need the ball. That's excellent. And I think that is one avenue and one of the, a top two avenue the Knicks could go. Another way I think they could go, Smitty, is another guard that's a little bigger and then could play point guard when Jalen Brunson is off the floor. That way you have 48 minutes of elite point guard play. And I think a guy that's six foot four to six foot five makes some sense there. But he also has to be a defender as well. And that's why I think, I'm not saying it's a perfect fit, but it's a pursuable target. I think DeJounte Murray fits that to a sense. If you can have a perimeter defense of DeJounte Murray and OG and Obi with Mitchell Robinson coming back, that's pretty well. And I know a lot of people will point to Marshall. Well, it hasn't worked for Trey Young playing alongside DeJounte Murray. One, Trey Young cannot play off ball nearly as well as Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson was the number one catch-and-shoot three-point player in the NBA last year that averaged more than 18 points per game. That's fact number one. Fact number two is, the whatever you think about him, I think he's a choker in the playoffs, I hope he improves. Whatever you think about him, the Atlanta Hawks do not have another all-NBA, two-time all-NBA, two-time all-star player outside of DeJounte Murray and Trey Young on that team. That is obviously Julius Randle. Say what you want, it's a fact. They don't have a player that good. And then on top of that, you add a wing that improves your team on both sides of the ball and makes some of the most winning plays in the league in OG and in OB. I think that just helps DeJounte Murray. Look what he did last night, 32 points. How nice would it be to have a two guard and then go and get you 30, also eight assists, take the ball out of Jalen Brunson's hand every once in a while and affect the game. Because I will never forget, game four against the Miami Heat, excuse me, game five against the Miami Heat, the Knicks were down three to one in that series. Jalen Brunson had to play 48 minutes. Jalen Brunson had to play 48 minutes. That is not a winning recipe in the NBA playoffs. You know what happened in game six? He came out for five minutes of game action, and it was a 10-point swing. You can't have that. And that's why And DeJounte Murray could fill that void. He could carry your offense because this Knicks team is going to miss a guy. He's, they're going to miss Emmanuel quickly off the bench. And they are going to need someone to play make. They're going to need someone to create shots because in the playoffs, what was the Knicks' number one Achilles heel? They could not create offense outside of Jalen Brunson consistently. R.J. Barrett was up and down, had some big games, had some not so big games. Emmanuel quickly did not help the Knicks at all uh, in the playoffs. And then he got hurt. I think another guard that can handle, create, and be that point guard makes some sense for this team. Um, and I also agree with what Smitty said. If you want to go length and defense and just Jalen Brunson go win, you could do that as well. Now but, I will say those two names you mentioned. Now, Mikel Bridges is going to be very expensive to trade for. Yeah. DeJounte Murray a little bit less so. I don't know when his contract So this is over. his last year of his current deal, uh, $18.2 million. His extension starts next year, four years, $117 million. And that's a bargain for a player like Murray. Um, Who would be your fourth best player? Yes, he'd be your fourth best and player. And Atlanta, he's your second best player. Yes. And I don't think he should be a two on any team ever. No. Um, but what do you think about somebody who's even I would less... like a better shooter. So this but he is I'm... shooting 38% this year from three. Don't know how sustainable. This is where I'm going with this. Um, the Knicks, I don't know if they'll want to use you know, so many assets to get that next ball handler scorer off the bench. What about a guy like Jordan Clarkson? He needs to be offloaded in Utah. They're, giving, they're trying to give all those minutes to Colin Sexton. Um, Jordan Clarkson's a guy who's spark plug. Like, he kind of fits that quickly mold. Obviously a worse defender, but... He can hit shots off the bench and handle the ball. Yeah, uh, I don't hate Clarkson. Um, the only thing I don't love about his game is he's – last year he was efficient. He shot 44% from the field, but he only shot 33% from three. He hasn't shot better than 34% from three since 2019. Yeah, And I just – I do like the playmaking ability and the shot making. Look, the guy averaged 17 
He's averaging 17 this year, 21 last year, 16, 18 and a half. I could use the bucket get, uh, no doubt about it. And I get that, and that that's a, that's a cheap get. Another name that I have for you, Smitty, and you can answer this as a Celtic fan. Sure. Malcolm Brogdon. If he's healthy, he's valuable. Malcolm Brogdon is for the taking right now in Portland. No one, Portland, he's, he doesn't want to be with Portland. Portland doesn't want him long term. Fournier in a pick for Brogdon. Fournier in a first round pick. Oh, that easily gets it done. Fournier in the Dallas Mavericks first round pick. I'm in. That gets, because Brogdon's on a two year, $40 million deal, $20 million each year. Brogdon can come off the bench. You can run your offense through Brogdon, but also Smitty, he could play alongside Jalen Brunson. All righty. Smart player, man. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we go. Who do you got? Type K for the Knicks, T for the Timberwolves. As we are underway, the OG in and OB era has started for our New York Knicks. Timberwolves will start with the ball, and Ananobi will start defending on it. Uh, Ant Edwards. They're going to post up. Carl Anthony Towns on Randall. He'll get to that left hand hook shot. Good. Off the glass, Carl Anthony Towns paints the scoreboard first. T Wolves on top. Your starting lineup is Brunson, DiVincenzo, OG Ananobi, Julius Randall, and Isaiah Hartenstein. Brunson has it right wing, being guarded by McDaniels. Gets it to Ananobi. Drop off pass to Hartenstein, kicks it out. Randall open, corner three, yes! Randall knocks down the corner three off the feed from Hartenstein. Love to see the ball movement there. A lot of space on the offense. Cat has it, left isolated wing. He'll take a floater in the lane, good. He goes right at Randall, two straight possessions, and he's two for two. Brunson has it right wing, being guarded by McDaniels, one of the best defenders in the league. Knicks moving around the perimeter. Now Randall has it left side. He'll give it back to Brunson, 10 on the shot clock. He's got it by the logo. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. Looking to cook, kicks it to Ananobi. Three on the shot clock, back to Brunson. He's going to have to let it go. He does. Air ball, turnover. There's the little bit of difference you see in the Knicks already, Smitty. A lot of times, Brunson will give that ball to RJ with four seconds left, and RJ will bully his way to the lane and either miss a layup or take a layup. OG caught it, gave it right back to him. It's not, our, it's not OG's game to you know, drive, you know, catch and drive like exactly. that. Exactly. As the Timberwolves move it around, that's going to be a three off the mark. Knicks are out and running. Hartenstein kicks it up to Brunson. He drives baseline, floater, in and out. Brunson misses the little baby floater from that right corner. Edwards brings it up the right side. Ananobi guarding him. Pick and roll from Gobert. Alley-oop. Broken up by Hartenstein. But it goes off the Knicks. Great defense by Hartenstein. It'll be T-Wolves ball underneath. As the Bush kid coming in with a $10 super chat. Shout out to the Bush kid. A real one says, Marsh, I want KD. And we good. Kevin Durant? KD? KD, huh? As the Knicks... Playing some good defense here. Corner three, good. McDaniels knocks down the corner three. They threw it inside to go bare, kind of sucked the defense in. Pause, he kicked it out. McDaniels knocked down the corner three. Brunson at the logo. Knicks down four, still 9.50 to go. He'll get to the foul line, and then kick it to Ananobi. Corner three, good! OG Ananobi knocks down the corner three off the feed from Brunson. He's one for one in his Knicks career. The Knicks won the trade. Get the OGs in the chat. And Edwards will take a three. Good. He came off the screen. Randall's playing drop coverage. Easy walk in three for Edwards. Knocked it down. I know that's the Knicks style of defense. But when a team gets hot early, it makes it hard as they're going to continue to stay hot. As Brunson working around the perimeter. He's one-on-one -on -one with Gobert. Five on the shot clock. Brunson gets into the lane, kicks it out to Hartenstein. He'll have to throw up a floater. He does, in and out. Hartenstein's little push shot from the dotted line does not fall. Edwards being chased by Ananobi. Layup, good. And Edwards, one of the best in the league at attacking the cup, converts. Knicks down six. Randall will take a pull-up three. Good! Julius Randall, two for two from downtown. He's been the Knicks' only offense so far. They got to get it going. Want to see Brunson be more aggressive. He really hasn't been playing all that well the past couple of games. K 
Cat, one-on-one -on -one versus Randall. Randall gave up two early buckets to Towns, and now he's picked up his defense. This is great D by Randall. Forces Cat to pick up his dribble. Gives it to Gobert. He attacks the rim. No good. Rebound by Randall. That's good defense. Good defense, 30. Randall will bring it up. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. He's going to go to the cup. He'll pull up. Jumper off the back iron. Tipped out by Hartenstein. Randall controls the rebound. He's going to go to the lane. Finds Brunson in the corner. Who kicks it to Chenzo. Bang! Dante DiVincenzo knocks down the three. And the Knicks tie it up at 12. Good ball movement by our New York Knicks. Conley. Pick and roll floater. Good defense again by Hardenstein, who blocks the alley-oop. Chenzo and the Knicks are running. Kicks it to Randall from the corner. I think they said Randall was out of bounds. Randall, he missed the three anyways, but it looks like he caught it out of bounds. I want to go back to that prior possession. What ball movement by the Knicks to move it around, get it to Chenzo, knock down that left wing three. He's shooting almost 50% from three this year. Anthony Edwards, he'll take a step back. No good. Rebound by Brunson. He's looking up ahead. He'll kick it to DiVincenzo. To Randall in the corner now. He's being guarded by McDaniels. McDaniels is a great defender, but he can't stop Randall when it comes to the paint. Randall gets there. Takes a fall away, too. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two free shots. Rich Robb in the building. What up, Rich? Sully, Michael Vasquez, 4K, Anthony, Stack, Shane, Sully, Will, Gold44, Kid Lamar, Andre. Let me know who you got. Type K for the Knicks, T for the T-Wolves. Nope's in the building. What's up, my man? Andre, roll with the Knicks. Eugene says hello. What's my name? Brian Rich. Happy New Year to everybody in the chat. Happy New Year. To everybody in the chat, Nehemiah Duncan, Rich Robb says, I need to see OG work. Hey, he caught it in the corner. He launched a three. He did his job. One for one. You haven't given up 30 points in the first five minutes. You're already seeing an impact. What up, Chris? What up, Ty Johnson? Ray Harvey? Got some real ones in the building. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up icon. We got 600 people watching, only 131 likes. The math ain't mathin'. The math ain't mathin'. Show some love. Hit that thumbs up icon. Randall goes two for two from the line. Nick's on an 8-0 run in the last 95 seconds. Conley up top. Gets the screen from Gobert. Throws him a nice pocket pass. Blocked by Hardstein at the rim. He's made three great plays defensively as DiVincenzo finds Brunson for three. In and out. Ananobi with the rebound. Missed the putback. And the ball will be with the Knicks on the baseline. Ananobi making a difference on the board. He missed the bunny. But you're already seeing, uh, Smitty, the Knicks feel like a bigger team as well. I know you're missing Mitchell Robinson, but you just feel bigger with Ananobi. And, I mean, listen, look at Hartenstein defending Gobert. And these Three times. At two alley-oops, and he blocked a dunk? Hartenstein meets Gobert at the rim and says, get that shit out of here. I mean, listen, I've watched our Isaiah Hartenstein play against the Celtics. I watched him play many other times. He is the quintessential backup big. I want him on my team. He is a great backup big. He's a free agent this summer. Knicks cannot afford to let him walk. They have his bird rights, meaning they can go over the salary cap to sign him. It's great. Yeah, they got to make other signings first. But. They'll have the mid-level exception, and that's really about it. That's really about it. The Knicks don't have much cap space this summer. No, nah, they're they're capped out. They're right against the luxury tax. Mid-level exception and Isaiah. And Hartenstein. you're gonna have to re-sign OG and Obi. Report came out he wants four years, 150 million. Oh my God. 38 million a year. Oh. How much are you paying OG and Obi? Thirty-five. Obviously, right 35. now, you're you're at this point. He's got you held hostage. You're paying it whatever it takes because you already traded for him. Yeah, uh, I'm I going will, four years, 130. His agent is uh, Sam Rose, who is the son of Leon Rose. So uh, I think the Knicks are going to be all right. They're going to be all right. I think they're going to be all right. I don't think we should stress that OG, unless it goes wrong. Unless he some... just hates Tom Thibodeau or Brunson or Randall. If he doesn't enjoy his 40, 50 games here, sure. But when it talks about if he wants to be here, he will be here. You think that the Knicks traded for OG and Anobi without any intel, thought, or wink, wink, nudge, nudge that, hey, if you trade for him and you give me the money that I 
might potentially want that's rumored, then we'll, we'll be here. Like, that's good. That's what's going to happen. Are the number, is the number going to come out and everyone's going to be like, we, gave, we paid too much? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we do uh, have a TV timeout. I want to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS. It's the number one way to play daily fantasy sports. I've got my lineup already ready for tonight's college football playoff games. I'm going to go with more than two and a half passing, rushing, and receiving TDs for Michael Penix. And I'm going to go with more than one total rushing, receiving touchdown for Xavier Worthy. You can roll with my picks or fade them. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players. You choose more or less on the projected stat line. And you can win yourself some money up to 20 times your Money And if you use the promo code CLNS at prizepicks.com slash CLNS, put 100 bucks into your account, they'll give you 100 bucks for free. That information is clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. Knicks have come out on a run. They were down 12-6 to to start this game. Now they're up two and they have the ball. DiVincenzo has it in the corner. He'll work it back outside to Brunson, who swings it to Randall. Randall's already two for two for downtown. Gets in the lane, fall away two, Yes! Julius Randle coming out hot, looking for his own shot. And he's been effective. He's been the Knicks' engine tonight on offense. 6.30 to go in the first. Knicks up by four. Michael Conley being defended by Brunson. Look at OG and Obi work on the other end, guarding Edwards, making it hard for him to catch it. Now he's got Randle on him. He'll spin in the lane. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. You know, the, you know what shows me that he's a good defender and he's respected by the T-Wolves, Smitty? They want the switch. They want the switch. And Edwards comes down and he says, I want to switch. I don't want to be defended by him. I, and I, who would be? He's, he's a nuisance. And I think it's going to give the Knicks, when they throw Josh Hart in that lineup with him, great defensive versatility to just be able to switch on multiple guys. And Grimes. And Grimes. Grimes did a great job last year on Jimmy Butler. I'm not saying he's an elite defender. But if you go into a lineup and Josh Hart is your second best defender on the wing and Grimes is your third, you're, you're, you're cooking with some gas, man. You have guys that can chase people around now. You see him come up and carry a Edwards through the hip to get on top of the screen. He's picking him up at the logo, sitting in that stance, playing defense. How do we feel about him wearing number eight? How do we feel about him wearing number eight? As Edwards goes two or two from the line. Brunson will bring it up left side, crossover, gets to his spot, hesitates, and then pulls it back out. He's got McDaniels, the bigger defender on him. Gets him into the post, kicks it out. Chenzo to Ananobi. Ananobi drives baseline, drives, kick out. See, that's, that's the difference. As the Knicks move it around, Chenzo three, no good. I like the result of the play, though. He didn't look to lay that up at all. Ananobi guarding Edwards. Edwards blows by him, but he deflects it, and it's going to be Knicks ball the other way. I think that was Ananobi. It might have been Randall on the deflection. But either way, a turnover forced by the pressure on defense. Brunson at the top of the key, getting a screen from Randall, trying to get that switch with Cat on him. He does. He kicks it. Randall's wide open. Pump fake. Love to drive. Then picks up his dribble. Fall away two. Off the front rim. No good. No good for Randall. Would have liked to have seen him attack the cup there. Um, but he decided for the jumper falls. Does not fall. As Randall gets called for a ticky-tack, hands to the back on Cat as Cat's posting him up. Kemba Walker's, uh, Kemba Walker, when you think of eight, I think of J.R. Smith. As Creed coming in with a $2 super chat. What up, Creed? So after we get a guard, then who do we go for then? You get a guard, you, you, you probably need a center. Probably need a center unless Preston Chua just comes out and lights it up. I don't think you can win a championship. And I don't think that's a goal this year, obviously. Uh, the Knicks are playing for the future. The Knicks are playing for the future. As they will make their first substitutions, I think guard, more so a point guard and a big man, is what the Knicks need. As Ananobi checks out, Knicks make a couple substitutions. Brunson comes out as Miles McBride checks in. And that's going to be a three for Carl Anthony, oh, a deep two, deep two for Towns, ties it up at 16. It's Randall, DiVincenzo, Hartenstein, McBride, and Hart in the game. This is a very, very questionable offensive lineup. You're going to run through Randall as he knifes into the paint, misses, gets his rebound, and cleans it up. 
This Randall is very Julius Randall-centric. You don't really have another guard that can create off the bounce. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play offensively. Defensively, though, I like what you got with McBride, Hartenstein, Hart, and an active off-ball defender in DiVincenzo. Nas Reed, one of the best bigs off the bench in the league, drives, kicks. Now the, this is a leap ball move by the Timberwolves. DiVincenzo with a backside block on McDaniels. What a play by the big ragu. Now Randall's out and running in the break, drives to the lane, layup, good! Randall goes right at the chest of Carl Anthony Towns and says, get off me. Sometimes when Julius Randall's a big idiot and just goes tunnel vision, he's a good player, man. <laughs> I like it when he tries to touch the backboard every play. Cat and Randall, it's been a battle. Cat takes a three in and out and right back down. We got a, we got a Kentucky big man game going on right now. Cat's got probably 10 points. Randall's right around that as well. Julius, once again, guarded by Cat. He'll give it up this time. McBride, top of the key. Nobody moving on the Knicks. Here comes a late screen for Hartenstein. McBride comes off the screen. He's doubled, throws a pass out of bounds. See, this is kind of my problem with this lineup. I don't want, as the shot clock's rolling down, and this is why the Knicks will have to make a trade. They're way too smart to not Got see Deuce this. Deuce McBride dribbling 30 feet away from the basket. Exactly, and the shot clock's running from 10 to 0, and I'm seeing a Deuce McBride and an Isaiah Hartenstein pick and roll. It's not winning basketball. I love Deuce. He earned the contract he got. He's your great third point guard for energy, but you need another guard out there that can create for others and themselves right now. You're seeing where they're going to miss Emmanuel quickly. Yeah, this lineup, I, I, this, I'm not even confident in the ball handling ability, really. It's... As Anthony Edwards pull up three off the pick, good. Hart went under, and Edwards made him pay. 2022, 22-20. As Randall on the perimeter, pump fake, got Cat in the air, he's fouled. Oh, and he almost got it to fall, but he couldn't. But he couldn't. Randall's going to the line for two. As OG is in the building, the real OG. OG, the homie in the building. Michael Vasquez says, I'd rather Dante DiVincenzo run the offense with the second unit. I don't know if he could do that. I don't know if he could do that. Uh, I think he could be better than Miles McBride. Um, but that's why you're going to make a trade. Just make saw, go ahead. Just saw a tweet that said the Knicks do not plan, do not intend to mount an all-out pursuit of Donovan Mitchell. I don't know if you've covered that recently. Okay. That's, that's Mark Stein. Mark that. Stein? Yeah. I think that's smart. I don't think going in all in for Donovan Mitchell makes a lot of sense right now. Offseason? Sure. Uh, but not right now. And if you're going to trade for Donovan Mitchell, you're probably going to have to trade Julius Randle. Just due to money. Due to money. What up, Carlos? Ev says, I subbed for 69. Nice. Make sure everyone is subscribed to the channel. we got 730 people watching. Hit that sub button with your one-stop shop for everything Knicks. As Nas Reed catch and shoot. Deep three. Good. What a shot from Nas Reed. One of the most just offensively talented bigs in this league as Josh Hart has it left side drives kick McBride resets kicks it to Hart see I think as he'll go to Randall and Randall loses it but gets it back now he's going to post up kick it out to Deuce once again shot clock running low Deuce McBride pull up front and rim no good I think the Knicks have scored one point with this lineup uh this is where you're going to see that this team needs another another scoring guard and Edwards, one-on-one -on -one versus Hart. Hart playing good defense. And then Edwards beats him with an all-world move. Literally looked like Michael Jordan right there. Post up, fake, post up, pump fake, step through. Kobe Bryant footwork right there. Knicks were on an 8-0 run at one point. Minnesota just matched it with an 11-1 run. Knicks down six as we're going to go to a TV timeout. This lineup can't be running. Bad idea to take Anthony Edwards less on prize picks today. He already has 10. Yeah, he's been aggressive. And Edwards has been aggressive. We're up to $75 in Super Chats. Once we get to 100, we're shotgunning brews. I'm shotgunning a happy dad death row. Let's ride. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're pushing to get to 31,000 subscribers today. Tall task, I know. But we've already had 5,300 people tune in so far. And I know that there was at least 
330 people that were not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. We put out free videos every single day. Um, we went live for two hours when the Knicks traded for OG and Anobi. When the Knicks make a move, we make a video, and we're live for almost every single game when it comes to doing stuff like this. This is our Super Chat menu. Um, we like to have fun. Our job here at Chat Sports is to inform and entertain. And uh, I think we do an all right job with that. Got, got to get better. We're doing all right. Here's our Super Chat menu. If you guys want to have some fun, do a little drinking games. $20. We're doing Hennessy shots today. We're not supposed to do Hennessy shots, but it's a holiday, and it's only me and Smitty in the building. So what the bosses don't know doesn't hurt them. We'll do beer shotguns for $50 Super Chat. If someone sends in 100 I guess we're doing a boot today. Let's ride. Let's just keep it rolling from last night. Keep it rolling from last night. As Carlos Ortiz comes in with a $20 super chat. Carlos, we appreciate you, my man. Happy New Year. Shout out to Carlos. He says, I'll chip in. Let's ride. Hey, we appreciate it, man. Uh, this, all these, every, everything that, every way that you could support this channel, like, comment, subscribe, share the link, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, we're trying to grow and become one of the largest Knicks YouTube channels there is, and it's because of people like Carlos. Um, Super Chats don't go in my pocket. They go back in to the product. They go back into Knicks and Al. Uh, that's why we're able to have Smitty come in on an off day. Um, that's what we're able to do, have some fun. Shout out to Carlos. Carlos, Henny Shots, let's go. All I'm saying is, it's a holiday, and I can't be the only one drinking. Like, if we're going to drink, we're going to drink as a team. We're going to drink as a family. That's what I do on holidays. We drink with the family. So let me know what you guys are drinking in the chat. If anyone's rocking with us, if anyone's already getting their New Year's party on for the college football games tonight, let me know what you're drinking in the chat. Don't make me drink alone. <coughs> oh. Um. CBD. All right, back to hoops. Randall's going to post up, spins into a double, then he'll kick it out to McBride. Shot clock running low. McBride's going to have to reset, launch a three. No good. As Precious Achua is getting his first run with the Knicks, he's subbed in at center. He'll be wearing number five. Achua, 6'8", athletic big, plays bigger than he is. Excited to see how he can affect this game. As he gets his first defensive rebound and kicks it up to Randall. I like to see this unit play a little faster, Smitty. I don't expect them to be that offensively skilled in the half court. You're really just relying on Julius Randle to go get a bucket as he turns one over. Uh, look, if you can run in transition, you're going to get easier buckets. Want to see the Knicks do that. As my guy OG, the real OG in Knicks now, says, let's get it going, Knicks. New vibes. Shout out to the chat squad. Shout out to OG, a legend here. OG, my man, we appreciate it. Happy New Year. Love you, man. Appreciate you so much. 27-21. It's been a back-and-forth game already as Josh Hart is going to be called for a foul as he's trying to defend Anthony Edwards, who's come out on fire tonight. Uh, he's been great. Phoenix Valley champs, what's going on? Suns fan here. The Knicks can use Jordan Clarkson. I think Clarkson is definitely a good get, and at this point, any guard that can create offense uh, is going to help this team. The question is, do you want to sacrifice draft capital to do that right now? Make a big-time play, or do you want to go the cheaper route uh, like that? As another alley-oop is blocked by the Knicks, Hart's out and running. He'll go all the way and then kick it out for Brunson. Three. No good. Offensive rebound by Grimes. Out to Ananobi. No good. Why does it feel like every time he shoots, the, there's so much pressure? It's like you get like a... Uh like the present you wanted on Christmas morning. And like, you just want to play with that present all day. Like I want OG and Anobi to shoot 40 shots. I want today. to see Ananobi shoot the rock today. Yep. I want to see Ananobi shoot the rock. As Kyle Anderson drove to the cup and he got fouled, he'll go to the line for two. Brunson already back into the game. The Knicks made substitutions as that lineup they ran with McBride, Hart, DiVincenzo, Randall, and was that Hartenstein at the five? Uh, it just did, it, I think they scored 1.3 minutes. 1.3 minutes, and they didn't defend like anyone thought they would. Anderson, first free throw. No good. You know why? Ball don't lie. Get the BDLs in the chat. As EC, my man, $10 super chat. Happy New Year to you, my man. 
Happy New Year to everybody watching. Let's make 2024 the best one yet. As Anderson misses both free throws. And then it's going to be a loose ball foul on Precious Achua. Precious. Don't do that to me, Precious. Kyle Anderson just missed both free throws, and then Achua got called for a loose ball foul. He'll shoot two more. Let's ride. Frank Serrano in the building. It'd actually be Gobert at the line now. Even better for the Knicks. Gobert, not known to be an efficient foul shooter, as his first one falls, of course. Frank Serrano, happy new year to you, my man. Love you, brother. Love you, man. Thanks for always tuning in and showing love to this channel. Kid Lamar said, what happened to Brunson? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why has he not played as good the last couple of games? It's a long season. As Gobert goes two of two for the line, just the Knicks' luck. Knicks down 29-21 with 41.7 to go. Brunson will let the ball roll as he's on the floor with Ananobi, Hart, Achua, and Grimes. Brunson gets to his spot, pull up, no good. He has just been a little bit off these last couple games, man. And Edwards will bring it up that right side. They'll have Grimes on him. Achua guarding Gobert. Ant Edwards drives, fouled, and won. Anthony Edwards goes right to the cup. No one got in the way of him. And he was fouled by Achua, and he finished easily. I mean, he is one of the best in the NBA. I don't see a foul there, uh, to be honest with you. But superstars get superstars calls. Edwards makes a free throw. Nick's down 11 here in the first quarter. And all hell is loose on Knicks Twitter, I bet. I mean, the Knicks have scored one point in three minutes and 40 seconds. This is what everyone was worried about. Ten seconds left in the quarter. About a two-second shot clock, game clock difference. Brunson kicks it to Hart. Hart drives in the middle, kicks it out to Ananobi. He'll rip through. Nice underpass to Hart, who makes the layup. And what a play by OG and an OB. Could have went up for a four shot as Edwards shot to end the quarter is off. We'll go to the first, second. Knicks down by nine. But Smitty, that's just the total difference of what Ananobi is compared to a guy like RJ Barrett. Yep. Barrett is going to the cup. And I love when Barrett does it because he's he was he 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 had some success doing it. He would go to the cup and he would take a contested layup. There, OG drove. Acted like he was going to shot. Nice underhand pass to Hart. Hart with an easy push in. Don't think I've ever seen R.J. Barrett do that. No. Ever. So, just one element that I don't know he brings. We'll do fat. Have we? Factor, yeah. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit that thumbs up icon. Subscribe. Help the channel. And also, if you're looking to get 50% off some fresh, never frozen, Chef prepared, dietitian approved meals. Head to factormeals.com slash nickschat50. I want to give a huge shout out to today, today's show sponsor, factor, factormeals.com slash nickschat50. Use that promo code nickschat50 and you'll save yourself 50% off. Pick your pre made meals, prepped and cooked to perfection, fresh, never frozen. And they've got multiple different meal sets you can go and get. They've got low-calorie ones. They've got low-carb ones. They've got high-protein ones. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They've got smoothies. They've got protein shakes and so much more. I love Factor. I live a busy lifestyle. I've tried the meal prepping thing. It didn't work. I've tried to cook all the time, and it just costs too much money to cook for yourself, and I don't love going to the grocery store. So I got hooked up with Factor. You guys should give it a try. I promise you, you'll like it. Factormeals.com slash NickChat50. Promo code. Nick's Chat 50. All that information is clickable in the comments and the live uh, comments and description of today's show. Shout out to our sponsor, Factor. Low End Theory says, I think I'm going to try Factor. I like it, man. Uh, I do. There's different options you could choose. Uh, I am uh, a... <laughs> Bushkid says, stop saying Twitter. It's it's X. It's Twitter to me forever and always will be. Um, I like the low-calorie ones. I like the low-calorie ones. I'm trying, I'm trying to get right. I'm trying to get right. Samir says, just sucks when your best player can't get a bucket. Randall can't get a bucket or Brunson? Can't? Are you talking about Brunson? Yeah, Brunson has not played well. Um, or we're talking about OG. I don't know. 
Big Smoke says OG's D is overrated. Masai strikes again. Sai Ujiri has got the best of the Knicks in a couple of trades. Let's hope that's not the case this time. I don't believe it is. I think OG Ananobi was the best player in the deal. Here we go. Brunson, Achua, Grimes, Hart, and Ananobi. Brunson drives, kicks, ball be deflected. It'll be Knicks ball on the baseline. They'll throw it in with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Knicks offense scores 23 points in the first quarter. Would not be surprised if that's close to the season low. Ananobi throws it in, cross court to Grimes, who immediately throws it to Brunson. He'll get a screen from Achua. Brunson gets into the paint, pump fake, step through, drop off to Achua, and he's blocked by Gobert. Got his own shot, missed it, got it back again. Ball's loose, couldn't finish the play. Rebound by Minnesota. Kyle Anderson has it. Sneaky playmaker, gets into the lane. His push shot from 13 is good. Knicks are getting cooked right now, down by 11. Grimes has it in the corner. Would like to see him be more aggressive as the Knicks are going to be looking to have someone step up. Brunson kicks it to Hart. He'll take an open three. Good! Josh Hart has really struggled from downtown this year. The Knicks need him to pick it up from there. Knocks down that one. Knicks are 5 of 11 for three. That means they have 15 points from downtown. They have 26 points in the game. The length and the defense that the Timberwolves have could really affect an offense, and the Knicks are going through it right now. Conley drives baseline, looking to create. He'll kick it into the corner. Br Grimes beat off the dribble, and an OB pokes it away. Timberwolves will have 1.2 seconds to throw it in off the baseline. You see the active hands from Ananobi on display. Led the NBA in deflections and steals before. Anderson will throw it in. He'll get it to Nas Reed. He'll catch and shoot. Air ball, turnover. Knicks rock going the other way. Hey, let's get a bucket here. Let's get a bucket here. Who do you got? Who do you got? Type K for the Knicks, T for the T Timberwolves. Brunson will bring it up the right side. Gets a screen from Grimes. Trying to get Conley on him. Finds Grimes. He launches good. Quentin Grimes. A player the Knicks need to see more out of. I need to see that Grimes from last year. There's more opportunity for a bigger role from him. The Knicks could greatly benefit if Grimes could be more aggressive. It's Conley's three. Good, but it's waved off. Offensive foul. Knicks rock. Gobert just kind of held Brunson. Brunson sold the call, and it's Knicks ball. Brunson drives, pump fake, step back, step through, foul, and one. Jalen Brunson does it again. Just magical when he gets to the cup and attacks the rim. Fake here, fake here, bucket, contact, and one. It's like the quickest 8-0 run I've ever seen. The quickest eight points I've ever seen. Let's go, Knicks! Second quickest in Madison Square Garden, actually. Fuck you. <laughs> Too easy. 34. Everyone type F Smitty in the chat. 34-31. Knicks down three. Brunson can make it two. He does. Good surge and run for the Knicks. Ten minutes to go in the half. Knicks on a 9-0 run in less than 60 seconds. Conley up top. Defended by Brunson. Gets it to Reed. Step through. Layup. Missed. Rebound by Grimes. He gets it to Hart. Knicks have numbers. Hart. To Brunson in the corner, out to Grimes, pump fake, reset, drive, drop off to Achua. Nick's got to slow it down, kick it out. Hart, 10 on the shot clock, he'll launch. No good. Hart off the, off the rim from the outside. I liked Grimes driving right there. I like the ability. As Brunson gets a deflection, Nick's come up with it. Slow it down. Hart's going to go. He'll find Grimes to Brunson, corner, three. Good! Knicks take the lead. The offensive ball movement is on display. Knicks up by one. <laughs> Conley defended by Grimes. Gets a screen from Gobert. He drives. He's fouled. And he converts. A shrewd, clever, slick play from the veteran to quote Walt Clyde Frazier. I, I miss hearing Walt, Clyde, Frazier, call the games, man. As much as I respect 
Alan Hahn, and as much as I respect Wally Zerbiak, MSG games are just not the same without, Wal without, without Clyde. At, he just doesn't do as much games. He's getting old, unfortunately. He's getting old. That's my childhood, though. When I think of Knicks basketball, I think of Mike Breen. I think of Walt. I think of Mr. Clyde. That's, that, that's, Knicks. that's Knicks hoops for me. Knicks down by two. Nice play by Conley to convert the three-point play. Brunson will now drive, kick it to Grimes. Grimes threw it away. Good thing OG was there. He tried to get it to Hart. Hart cut. Just a miscommunication. OG now, one-on-one -on -one versus Nas Reed. Gets him into the paint. And we're going to get a defensive three seconds. Brunson will go to the line, I hope. Please. If you guys haven't yet over 800 people watching, hit that thumbs up icon for us. If you want the Knicks to beat the T-Wolves, if you want this OG and an OB debut to go successfully, hit that thumbs up icon. It's free and easy down below. That's right. And also, we got a $20 super chat from my man Nick Davidov as Brunson converts the technical, cuts the lead to one. Shout out to Nick Davidov. Let's get the eye emojis in the chat. When Davidov's in the chat, you drop the eye emojis. Shout out to him. How are the vibes at MSG, Nick? Let me know. My man's at the game, tuning in, showing love to Knicks now. Davidov, how are the vibes? Oh, Ananobi will throw it in. It's Ananobi, Hart, Achua, Brunson, and Grimes. A lot of defenders and shooters around Brunson. We've asked for that for a while. Brunson gets into the paint. Open floater. Good. Jalen Brunson is heating up. Knicks up by one with 8.30 to go. Towns up top, drives on a jewel, blocked by Ananobi, and they called a foul. Ananobi comes from the weak side to block Towns, but I think that there was a little. Oh, that's all ball. That's all ball. I think they called the foul on a Chua. OG got all ball. OG got all ball. Towns will go to the line. First free throw. Good. Matthew Smithson says different energy. The Knicks, I feel like the Knicks are playing with different energy. The angry casual fan says Precious is cooking. <sighs> is not. 38 <laughs> 38, 820 to go. Towns made the first. Second one is up. Also good. Two of two for Towns. Thirty nine, thirty eight. Timberwolves are eight of ten for the line, while the Knicks are five of six. Brunson up top, guarded by Conley. Gets a screen from Achua. He'll pull up for three off the front rim, just off. But it's going to be an offensive rebound by Grimes. Back out to Brunson, and then Grimes will control. He'll put it on the deck and gives it right back to JB. Five on the shot clock. Brunson drives, gets a bump out to Hart. He'll have to let it go. Floater, no good. No good. Timberwolves are out and running. It's going to be a charge. Jalen Brunson draws the charge. Carl Anthony Towns running reckless. Brunson slots in, takes the charge. And I see the Knicks going moving in so they can't challenge. So I don't know necessarily if this is a charge. Because Grimes jumped in there. I think they are going to challenge this, by the way. They will. Really tough to overturn block charge, though. Yeah, but what about Grimes sliding in there? This would be one that's a little obvious that uh, Grimes stepped in there late. We had a couple of $20 Super Chats come in. That means it's shotting, it's shotting Hennessy time. Every $20 Super Chat we get, we're doing hot shots of Henny on today's show. Let's go. <laughs> it's Danny McGrath. Danny McGrath, what up, my man? That's the MVP from yesterday's live show on Giants Now. Danny, good to see you, my man. Happy New Year. I saw you just last year. I saw you just last year. Ugly Gang TV says, once we trade for DeJounte Murray and Sadiq Bey, nobody's stopping us. I've learned a couple of things through 17 minutes of basketball in the OG and OB era. Bro, Rich, it's killing me right now, but I'm still 
I go to, I didn't, I didn't go to bed till a long day for me yesterday, to say the least. Um, I woke up and I was still feeling like I was up the night before, so I'm back into it. The best way is just to get back into it and then sleep it off tonight. But get back into it and sleep it off tonight. That's what I'm on. Last, also, if there's any gamblers out there, I don't, is it, I don't know if this is illegal, Smitty, um, but I think everyone should go less on Keontae George points tonight. Yes, Keontae George, you know, he, he, he's not going to have a good one tonight. He's, Where I, he's, I'll put it like this. Where I was last night, Keontae George was there as well. And he was there longer than I did. I had to leave. I was like, I got to do the Knicks game tomorrow. I'm at <laughs> it. It's 4.30 a.m. I had to get out of there. My man Keontae George, CeeDee Lamb, Key Glock, we're getting lit. All I'm saying is, if you want free game, unless you think maybe going out to the club makes you better, which there's people that do that. Maybe he's back in his home city. James Harden. He went out last night. He plays better. But um, the under on Keontae George is probably a good bet tonight, considering he probably didn't get home till 6.30. I'm going to look for it. Uh, so my question is this, Smitty. Uh, did he sneak out? Was there a cure for you? Was it because he's in his hometown they let him go out or what? Oh, man. Because they, they... Uh, there's no way that you, uh, the Utah Jazz are like, yeah, dude, cool. Go out till 6 a.m. on game No, eight. definitely not till 6 a.m. Um, somebody, he probably slipped somebody at 20 or a little more and uh, <laughs> said, keep your mouth shut. Yeah. As Danny McGrath. As it will call, will stand. Jalen Brunson draws yet another charge. I think he remains at number one in the league. Knicks ball. Danny McGrath, MVP. My man, absolutely. Yes, you are. And he says the Giants should have won. Told you I will follow and support. Danny, thank you so much, my man. I got a little upset yesterday. I got a little upset at the, uh, the, the, the Giants. I just, I know losing's probably better, Danny, but I want to win. I want to win. As Brunson, pull up, jumper, no good. Hartenstein with the offensive rebound. Brunson drives, kicks it out to Grimes. Grimes, I'd like to see attack. Throws it to, nice give and go between Grimes and Hartenstein. Fouled in one. Quentin Grimes, what a take. That was English. What a take. What a take. The give and go. The give and go between Grimes and Hartenstein. He bobbled the catch. Took the contact, laid it up and in. Three-point play. If Quentin Grimes can get back to the player that I fell in love with, this team might be in a good spot. Or maybe you, you unfortunately, may have to trade him. Because you need a backup guard. Bad. You need a backup guard. We're 305 subscribers away from getting to 31,000. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Brunson has it up top. Seven on the shot clock. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. Gets into the paint. Floater. Over go bear. Good. Jalen Brunson. Incredible footwork. Gets it over the seven footer for the bucket. He's got 11 points in the game, Smitty. All of them have come in the second quarter. Edwards swings it to Conley. He'll get into the paint. Guarded by Grimes. Now McDaniels trying to go dead heart. Good defense by the Knicks. They're moving their feet. Towns, pass, stolen, Knicks are out and running, it's Grimes, all the way, Euro, good, Quentin Grimes with an electric Euro to finish, he's looking good, he's looking good, type those QGs, type those QGs, Knicks up by three, six minutes and 30 seconds to go. Ananobi defending Towns. What a stop. Knicks are out and running. Ananobi on the break. Kicks it to Grimes, to Brunson, to Hart for three. Good. The Knicks are moving and grooving. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. Let's go, Knicks. We are the New York Knicks. We are the New York Knicks. This is fun basketball. Everyone touches it. Everyone moves it. You get a shot. You get a shot. And an OB could have kicked it. He could have kicked it to Brunson. He could have made it. He gave it to Grimes. Grimes to Brunson. Brunson to Hart. Hart for three. Bang! If you're not hyped about what you've seen from Quentin Grimes, 
Woo! Woo! Smitty, I think people forget how good Quentin Grimes is. He could be very good. It's just oftentimes he just goes, he disappears. Like he, doesn't get, he doesn't get that action. Now he's kind of taking it himself and making things happen. More, more opportunity, though. Exactly. Look, Brunson, I think that this could be a busting in disguise for Quentin Grimes losing RJ in quickly. Quentin quickly and RJ had the ball a lot. Two ball dominant players. Quentin Grimes, I wouldn't even say is a ball dominant player. No. He just literally didn't have the minutes on the floor. He, he couldn't get the ball. He was your best defender last year. Shot almost 40% in year two from three. Six foot five, guards one, twos, and some threes. Literally the exact like plug and play player of today's modern NBA. Like that's mm -hmm. what you want. Any team would love to have Quentin Grimes. OG says RJ would have forced that. Or Rich Rob, my man. My bad. My bad. While we do go to a quick TV timeout, I gotta quickly tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your initial deposit up to $100. Prize Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. It's easy and exciting. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat lines. It's not just NFL. It's not just NBA. It's not just college football. It's not just college basketball. They've got it all. And this is the lineup that I'm rolling with for the college football playoff, the, semi the semifinal games. I'm going with more on Michael Penix passing, rushing, and receiving touchdowns. And I'm going with more than half a receiving touchdown or rushing touchdown for Xavier Worthy. You can roll with my picks or fade my picks, but if you're going to play daily fantasy sports, I kindly ask that you do it with our sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. That's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, $100 deposit match with the promo code CLNS. I actually won my prize picks yesterday on the Giant stream. Who do we, yeah, was I it a good went, payout? Um, you have three I picks? put in tw three picked for 20. Nice, nice. Um, I had more on um, Saquon Barkley receiving yards, more on pass completions for Tyrod Taylor, and the easiest play of the day that I hope everybody played, more than half a sack for Aaron Donald versus the Giants. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was a lock. That was a lock. Yeah, I think was... he had two. <laughs> he had two. All right, let's close this quarter. Nick's up by six. They've really heightened the intensity. Here's Ananobi guarding Towns. Towns hook blocked by Ananobi. Oh, they called a late foul because he missed it. I don't care. That is it, great defense. It's taken 18 minutes for me to see that OG and Obi's a better basketball player than RJ Parrott. 18 oh, minutes. I didn't, you didn't need to see anything today. I didn't need to see anything. And I, um, but I think Knicks fans who reacted harshly to this trade yesterday and just have needed to see this 18-minute stretch. He's defending fives. He can guard one through five. He's guarding seven-footers. He's 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> the Knicks got one of those guys. And that was not a foul, by the way. No, it was not. By the way, like you said, the Knicks got one of those guys. They really haven't had a guy like OG and Anobi. I've never in my lifetime. Ever? They Who? There really hasn't been. They haven't had that stopper that can also shoot the three. There's not a lot of guys in the NBA like OG and Anobi. I know you're going to say, Marshall, he hasn't even scored that much. Watch. Watch. Two for two for the line for Cat after a fake foul. There's, there's things that aren't going to show up in the statue. Like you mentioned deflections before. He's probably had a five already in this game. Yep. As Brunson's three is off the mark, it should be a turnover. It probably should have been. And how about six seconds? It got to 16. Got to eight seconds, excuse me. Whatever. Towns up top. Guarded by Ananobi. He'll drive. Layup. No good. Good defense again. Hart's out and running. And Nick's got numbers. Hart all the way. Kicks to Brunson for three. Off the mark, Hart with the rebound. Back to Brunson, to Grimes, he'll shoot it. No good. Ball's loose, rebound by Ananobi. To a cutting Grimes, layup fouled. He'll go to the line for two. I he'll mean, go to the line for two. Another smart play by Ananobi there, finding the cutting Grimes. <laughs> How do you not love this? How do you not love this brand of basketball? No, it, that's the thing, it's the brand of basketball. The Knicks just look like they're playing smarter, smoother hoop right now. Three hundred subscribers away from thirty-one thousand. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. How how can you not love this brand of basketball from the Knicks? If you're a basketball purist, you just love hoop. This shit is electric. 
Not a lot of standing around. You got guys moving without the basketball. You got guys Grimes making the right cutting, reads. Heart cutting. Like, getting out in transition. It's good stuff, man. As Grimes goes two for two for the line, that's been an under-talked-about story. Grimes' role has grown, and can he get back to that player that a lot of people thought was going to be the best not young Knicks player on this roster? I mean, Smitty, Minnesota hasn't made a field goal in four minutes. The Knicks are locking up on defense. As Gobert drives blocked by Hardenstein at the rim. Knicks are out and running again. Brunson's going to go right at Cat and then pull it back out and slow it down. Randall is checked in. He'll launch a three off the mark. Randall said, I need some of that ball. Edwards being defended by Ananobi. Drives baseline. Playing good defense. He's running around. He's great D. Inside, Go Bears fouled. He pumped. He got Hartenstein in the air and drew the contact. Smitty, what would you describe what Anthony Edwards just Ring did? around the Rosie is what it was. It was like Duck Duck Goose and OG Anobi is literally following him. There's <laughs> guys setting moving screens in the center of the paint. And OG Anobi is on his ass. It's crazy. Wow. I see Hardenstein having a hell of a day on the defensive end as well. He has. Arge, uh, Hardenstein has played great. Gobert, first free throw, good. Jonathan says, hey, Marsh, you're absolutely behind my TV. Well, move, move the TV so you can see me. I'm sorry, man. We're doing all we can. Yeah, we're, on, we're, we're, uh, we're not even streaming the game, so I hope it's not too far. I hope it's not too far. <laughs> Go Bear, second free throw. No good. Randall doesn't box out. Rebound by Minnesota. And then his man will take a three. That's no good. Rebound by the Knicks. DiVincenzo has it. He'll get it to Brunson. He'll attack the cup. Gets there. Layup. He's fouled. They don't call it. Randall with the offensive board, though. And they'll kick it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein drives, finds Brunson to DiVincenzo. He'll pump, and he got it stolen. Gets it back. Five on the shot clock. Chenzo, nice inside pass to Ananobi, and he throws it down. Ananobi with the vertical leap, two-hand stuff. Knicks didn't have anyone on their roster outside of Mitch and Hartenstein that could make a dunk like that. That's athleticism and that size. Now he's going to guard Edwards, force him to... Throw it into the corner. That'll be a three. Off the mark. And then it's tipped up and in by Hardenstein. But it was because Gobert was over his back. How about the vertical ability right there for OG to go from a base set of two feet and just rise? I think he's one of those guys, those weird freak athletes you don't want to see in a bar that can jump uh, higher off two feet than one. As Brunson drives, kicks, Randall fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Let's ride, let's ride. 935 people watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We're trying to get to 31,000 subscribers today. I know there's 297 people watching right now that are not subscribed. So if you could, please hit that subscribe button. Free, informative, entertaining Knicks content every single day. Randall, first free throw. Good. Smitty, the second quarter. This Knicks team has played a winning, just overall style of basketball. I mean, it's a great Minnesota team. I mean, talk about the last time I was on Knicks Now stream just a couple nights ago. They played the Magic that second quarter versus this second quarter. It's night and day. I mean, they're going to score 50 points in the first half. When's the last time the Knicks held a team to under 55 points in the first half? I can't remember. I don't think it's happened since Mitchell Robinson got hurt. It hasn't. Randall, second free throw. Good. Good. Knicks up seven. Let's go. My eyes are glued to the TV. As it's Brunson, Randall, Hartenstein, DiVincenzo, and Ananobi. Starters are on the floor. Edwards off a series of screens. His three, no good. Smitty, that's also the pressure he feels by being guarded by Ananobi. He has to run off screens, and he, when he gets open, he feels like he has to shoot. As Randall kicks, Chenzo, three, no good. Ananobi battling for the board, but Gobert pulls it down. Anderson will push for Minnesota. Really good playmaker. Finds Gobert inside. He goes at Randall. Blocked. Oh, they called a foul. Randall fouled uh, Gobert. He'll go to the line for a pair. But going back to that last uh, possession offensively, 
you were never even remotely close to getting R.J. Barrett or quickly, and it wasn't Quickly's job, but R.J. Barrett specifically would never be battling down there with the bigs trying to fight for an offensive rebound. That's that was never occurred once. No, he he is big. That pause. He's a big body. Big body. Hoya, ho, Hoya, hey, says, do you cover all Knicks games? 99% of them. We do as many as we can. As many as we can. And it's like when Knicks fans said yesterday, oh, we traded, you know, this, the, the same player, just worse. They're, 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 they couldn't be more different. People haven't said that, have they? People are like, they're, like, they're saying like, oh, we traded, six, you know, 19 points for 15 yeah, points. Exactly. This a wing. They play so incredibly different. It's unbelievable. Gobert makes the second. Knicks up by six. Less than three to go in the half. Brunson moving, creating. Handoff. Randall straight line drive out to a cutting DiVincenzo. And now it's too many men in the paint. He'll get it back to Hartenstein. Drop off pass to Chenzo. He should have shot that corner three. He'll drive baseline. Finds a cutting in and Obi. Who throws it down? And an Obi rises at MSG and punches it. Knicks up eight. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Knicks. Have, have they ever had a player? Who's doing that? Archie ain't doing that. Edwards drives. Hardenstein, great defense. Out of bounds off Minnesota. Knicks ball. Ananobi with the block out. Let's go, Knicks. OG. OG. The Minnesota Timberwolves with two minutes to go, are three of 11 from the field. They can't even get shots up on this defense. Brunson into the paint, picks up his dribble, and now get it to Hartenstein. He'll find Brunson, cutting, pull up midi. Good! Knicks up 10, two minutes to go. Let's go, Knicks! Come on, close the quarter. Close the quarter. Anderson drives, kicks. Pump fake off the three. Brunson playing good defense. Pass deflected. Anderson now drives. He'll kick it out. I believe that's Alexander Walker. His three, good. Is that Nikel Alexander Walker? Good offensive set by Minnesota. Good ball movement. Knocked down an open three. 120 to go. Brunson up top. Going to get a screen from Ananobi. And then he'll quick it cross, kick it cross court to Randall. And he'll hand it off to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. Still with the logo. Gets inside. Drop off pass to Randall. Out to Ananobi for three. Off the mark. Oh, my God. Madison Square Garden. The, the top of the building would have been blown off if he hit that shot. Anderson drive. Drop off. Turnover. DiVincenzo and Hardenstein playing great defense. 59 seconds to go. Brunson will bring it up. Randall, one-on-one -on -one versus Nas Reed. Put the shoulder into him. Layup. Fouled. Randall's going to the line for two. And that's great awareness by Julius there because Rudy Gobert was slow getting back on defense. He was stuck out on the perimeter, and there was nobody really in the paint. It was Julius one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm taking Julius one-on-one -on -one against most guys. That's what I was about to say, Smitty. We all know that there are deficiencies in Randall's game, but when he – Kind of goes into that tunnel vision that sometimes Downhill. gets it in trouble. But when he says, I'm going to go put this ball off the square, there's not many guys that can keep him from doing that when it comes to just sheer size. And he's got good touch around the rim. He does. And he's a lefty, which can kind of cause you, catch you off guard a little bit. Nas Reed's a good player. Nas Reed ain't staying in front of Randall when he wants to go touch square. Yep. Randall knocks down the first free throw. 52.6 seconds left to go in the half. Nick's up by eight. Randall could make it nine. Let's get a stop, and let's go get a bucket, and let's go to the half. Randall, free throw, up and good. It's been a great half for the New York Knicks, Julius Randall included. Got them cooking to start the game in the first, and he's had some timely buckets here in the second. 45 seconds to go. Edwards being defended by Ananobi. He goes under the Nas Reed screen. Now it's Randall guarding Ananobi. He'll drive. Throws up a tough layup. No good. Ananobi with the big board. Out to DiVincenzo. They can go three on one. Ananobi drives. Drop off to Julius. Layup. Good. The Knicks are cooking. The Knicks are cooking. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. 
Knicks up 11. 30 seconds to go. Let's get a stop. Defense. Anderson into the paint. Turnover. Hardenstein to DiVincenzo. He's going to go all the way. Tried to drop it off to Randall, but he was fouled on the pass. Either way, I don't know if they actually called foul or a deflection there. Either way, it's going to be Nick's ball. But if it's a pass, if it's a foul on the pass, the Knicks are in the bonus, so they should be getting free throws. If they call foul, it should be free throws then. It is. DiVincenzo will go to the line for two with 20 seconds go, to go in the half. First free throw. Chenzo, bottoms. Knicks up 12. As Taj Gibson will sub in for the Knicks with 21 seconds to go. Uh, I like this move by Tibbs. You don't want to see Hartenstein pick up a cheapie right here when it comes to a foul. Chenzo, second free throw. Good. You're up 13. Let's just make him earn it. Don't foul here. It'll be Ant Edwards bringing it up. Miles McBride is subbed in as well. Josh Hart will be the point of attack defender. He'll draw the task of slowing down Edwards, who says, I don't need a screen. Ten on the clock. Edwards at the logo. One-on-one -on -one with Hart. Crosses over to his left hand. Drives. Layup. No good, and they called a foul because he missed the layup. Was there a foul there? Seriously? I mean, I'd like to see a replay. No. I, I don't see a foul there. It didn't impede his layup. No, he just smoked it. He tried he to just, get creative yeah. with the left. He just smoked it. Still 3.7 seconds to go in the half. I'd really like him to miss one of these. That'd be great. Because Anthony Edwards has zero points in the second quarter after the big first quarter. Edwards, two free throws here. First one up. No good. Hey. You know why it's no good? Ball don't, don't lie. lie. Get the BDLs in the chat. BDL in the chat. Ball don't lie. As OG and OB comes out to close the half with 3.7 seconds left. Sure, he may not have a lot of points, but if you've watched this game today with your eyeballs, you can see the immediate difference he has made when it comes to the process of playing the sport for the New York Knicks. Both free, second free throw good for Edwards. Brunson will throw it in. Knicks have four seconds. They can get a good look here. Brunson gets it to Randall. He'll cross half court. He'll have to get it up. He does not. Doesn't even get off a shot. Going to the end of the half. Grade the Knicks' first half performance. A, B, C, D, or F. A, B, C, D, or F. I don't know how it's not an A, Smitty. Is that the best half of Knicks basketball? Best I've seen in a while. And it started off, like, fairly rocky. I mean, the shots weren't falling and whatnot, but they stayed, they, they stayed in it. Um, they really didn't turn the ball over, which is huge in that, in that first half. Yeah, I think they're at three or four. That's that's an incredible number. Maybe not best half of the of the season, Smitty, but maybe the best quarter. You had twenty one points after the first quarter. You scored forty points against one of the best defenses in the NBA. Yeah, that's the best. And quarter. you held them to. Held them I, I want to say less than twenty points. Yeah, I think it might have been just twenty. That they. I think it might have been seventeen. Seventeen. You outscored them thirty eight to seventeen. Best wow. quarter of that. Best quarter of the season. Wow. That's awesome. OG and an OB so far. He's a plus 20 in 20 minutes. He leads the Knicks in minutes played tonight. That's another thing about OG and an OB. I mean, listen, he's had some injury history in his career, but when he is healthy, he's playing 40, he's playing 40 minutes a game. OG and an OB, seven points. Three for six in the field, four boards, a steal, an assist, two offensive rebounds, so he's fighting down low. How many points? Seven? Seven, yeah. He has those two dunks in the three. Two dunks in the three, which is exactly what you want him to do. I don't need him taking another shot from another How many zone points did court. Anthony Edwards have in that second quarter? Um, I believe he had three. Three points. Mm. Anthony Edwards didn't play all that good in that second quarter. Weird. Wonder why. Ah. 
<laughs> Listen, OG and Obi man, he's a guy. I, I, I'm, I'm one of the, I'm one of his biggest fans. I've wanted him. Uh, I feel so good for a long time. This is a winning. Like this is a, this is a Knicks player. Like I can't hate. I can't hate on him. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm that smart. I actually am pretty dumb. That's why I talk on YouTube. But, <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. 30,000 people tuned into our live stream when OG and OB got traded. 20,000 told me it was a bad trade. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Now calling all OG Ananobi haters to the stage. All OG Ananobi haters to the stage. Please drop your comment. Oh, there's one. Randall Neptune. Still my guy. Randall Neptune. There you are. <laughs> EC, my man. $5 super chat. Marsh, I'm all smiles. Was right now. Uh, all smiles right now. Can't believe how good we looked. Me either. Who knew that the Knicks would look good with OG and an OB? Who knew? Who knew? Uh, game's not over, though. Game's not over. He could not. He could. He, Smitty, he doesn't have to play in the second half, and I know we won the trade. A hundred percent. He doesn't have to play the second half. I already know. We know. Oh. If you know... You know. I actually don't want – like, I want him to finish with, like, 13 points. Like, I don't want him to have 25. Win, like, by, win by 10, he scores 14 points. Edwards gets 28 on 28 shots. And Twitter's going to go into shambles. Yep. They're going to be like, oh, he only had 14? He was, yeah, he was chasing around the best the best 22-year-old uh, in, in the league. What about a couple of the passes he's made? Smart. Just smart. Not – Not – Actually – not, I see rim from five feet, I have to shoot. No. And, and it's funny because, like, you take for granted sometimes just making the right basketball play. Like, the thoughtless right basketball play, like somebody cutting to the hoop, you give them the ball. OG Ananobi has that instinct to just make the right play. Who's watching Raptors Cavs tonight? I, I might, I might, I actually might be t tuned in. Who's watching Raptors Cavs tonight? Oh, Johnson, you. Come on, dog. Come on, Johnson. Mark K says, hey, Marshy. Say, hey, Marshy, did you see the ball movement once? I, I'm not going to say because they're gone. The ball movement is better. Ball movement is much better. William McConaughey with a $2 super chat. Shot to William McConaughey. Says, Bleacher Report is reporting Cavs not taking offers for Donovan Mitchell. You know what I would say, Smitty, if I wanted to trade Donovan Mitchell? I'd say we're not trading him. I'd say we're not trading him. Just like Utah told us they weren't trading him. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think that the Cavs are dumb enough to not trade Donovan Mitchell when they know he's leaving in two summers? Maybe, don't, they, maybe they don't trade him before the trade deadline, and that is 100% fair. But I think it is more likely than not he has traded this offseason. Are you going into next season if you're the Cavs knowing Donovan Mitchell is 100% not resigning in free agency? How 100% is it? It sounds like he's out. I mean, like, why would you want to stick? He never wanted to be Wind in Cleveland. Windhorse is saying it. Local reporters are saying it. Yeah. Why he, did he, has he not signed the extension? Yeah, he's a, he's a big market guy, too. He, he's a neck. I don't think he's the best fit. I don't think he's the best fit either. I, there are more. Give me DeJounte Murray over Donovan Mitchell. For the fit of the Knicks. Or does the thought that Ananobi, Hart, Grimes, and Mitchell Robinson, when healthy, can afford you to have another scorer like Donovan Mitchell? That doesn't I think the sense. Knicks still do need off the dribble scoring on this roster. And yes, obviously, absolutely. You know, you're going to get. And that's why Donovan Mitchell makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But are you willing to sacrifice? Can, can your defensive players. Because Brunson, Randall, and Mitchell in a starting lineup is not good defensively. No. But you got 
and an OB and Mitchell Robinson when healthy. Yeah. Can they make up for that? I, I don't know if you can. I mean, you got to think about the guards that you have to run through. I mean, Tyrese Maxey's I mean, one they're, of them. You're, both guards, either one is being hunted in the playoffs at all possessions in the fourth quarter. Yep. It, and that's, that's the reality. And most teams have to face it, but it's those who don't that kind of rise above. Who would y'all rather have, DeJounte Murray or Donovan Mitchell? I type, think most of the chat's obviously going to say Donovan Mitchell. But type DJ for DeJounte Murray. Type DM for Donovan Mitchell. Which one do y'all want? Interesting. I also factor in, I also factor in Smitty, uh, what the cost to trade for the player is. Way you less are having for Murray. To overpay. You're paying, what's the saying? You're paying $2 on the dollar for Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. You're having to give up almost everything you got, whereas for DeJounte Murray, I don't think you have to give up nearly as much. I agree. I think it, the chat's kind of split. 60-40, Mitch. As Jeremy Chugs says, Marsh, you coming out after the game. TBD. TBD, what a profile picture, by the way. Um... I need I need a little bit of rest. I need a little bit of rest. It's been a been a long thirty six hours. Key Glock. <laughs> Key Glock is crazy. <laughs> Key Glock is crazy. Jeremy Chugs. Fucking love you, dude. Steve Chandler, the Chandler man. OG with a plus twenty in the first half against a damn good Wolves team. We won this trade hard. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I know, Smitty, this is how I know we won the trade. Two reasons. People said the Knicks got fleeced, and oh. the general public thinks the Knicks lost this trade. You never go with the general public. Never go with the general public. I'll go as far as to say this. We might have fleeced them. I, 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 I shit you not. <laughs> I'm when I saw ass. the trade. We may have fleeced like, them. <laughs> this might have been a robbery in over in the head of the country. I shit you not. When I saw the Knicks got him for RJ Quick, I was like, Knicks made out like bandits. <laughs> this was me. So I'm still in my bed. I hadn't woken up yet. It was a long night. Um, Knicks had just played. Then, we, then I went out. Yeah. I got the push notification from Woj. And I'm like, this isn't real. So I open it up. And then I close my Twitter. And then I go to Woj's profile. I'm like, oh, shit, this is real. Yep. And the initial tweet said the Knicks are trading RJ Baird and Emmanuel Quickly plus draft pick compensation for OG and Anobi. My first thought is, how many first-rounders did we include? Not, yeah. did we include one? I thought, how many? And for 30 minutes, I'm like, I got to know, I got to know, I got to know. And it came out, it was a 2024 20, second-round pick. I said, Nothing. I said, we didn't give up a first? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Eric Trump! Eric Trump, my man, Welcome! Best trade Knicks made this season for sure. Let's go, Knicks. F. Rolly, make some more moves for more good ballers. Knicks till I die. How are they treating Rolly in the in the chat yesterday? Uh, um, I think they were just that, there was there's a lot of new people. Oh just yeah, there's people looking for news and stuff. Yep. But everyone knows it's always F. Rolly, and that message is always good to go in my book. Fact. Eric Trump, I like your strategy. Make more good moves for more good ballers. I mean, listen, <laughs> it's never failed before. No team has ever done bad by trading for ballers. No. And ballers like, win ball games. Eric Trump, Happy New Year, brother. William McConaughey, get Murray now and flip him next year for Booker. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, this is, they just got it down to a science. Not if you got Devin Booker and the Knicks are healthy, they what championship? Uh, Brunson, maybe. Booker, OG. Art Randall, bro. Booker's Robinson. not that. Booker's not that guy. He's not. He's not a one. He's a one A, one B with Brunson. Okay, that's that's the way you want to go. <laughs> Valentina, official, fam, fans. Jeez, I thought that was an M. Fans. That's a good point by Valentina. Say we give up thirty-five points per game. We got a thirty-five point per game stopper. Think about the last two games the Knicks played prior to the trade. Think about the last two games the Knicks played prior to the trade. They played the Oklahoma City Thunder. SJ put 40 on your head, and Jalen Williams put 35 on your head. Knicks had nobody to guard him. Two nights later, you play the Orlando Magic. Franz Wagner and Paolo Bancaro combined for 61 points on your head top. Yep. 
Those not, are e- they were easy points, too. Easy like, points. They were getting like, easy they points. Hunt, they were hunting R.J. Bear in that fourth quarter. R.J. Bear could not guard Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams is a damn good basketball player. But there's no reason second, second year Jalen Williams should be dominating R.J. Bear like that. Um, I'm not saying that OG Anobi is the best defender in the world. I'm not saying we're never going to have someone score 35 points per game on us again. But I he, love this defense now. He gave Jason Tatum fits. Um, the best basketball I've ever seen OG Anobi play was in the bubble. The guy was disgusting. Uh, just put him on any Celtic. He was locking him up. I am Jules, my man. I am Jules. Happy holidays to you and your family, my man. Thank you for always supporting us. Hope 2024 is your best year, brother. Says, yo, Marsh, we got the lead going into the half. Oh, gee. I am Jules, my guy for life. Parrish, I think Jeremy Grant away from a title type. No, no. For RJ. It was only for RJ. I don't want him now. I mean, the fact that I was talking about you can get Jeremy Grant for RJ and he got an OG and an OB. I, I'd rather have an OB. When? I don't know. Absolutely. Give me an and OB yeah. over Jeremy Grant every day of the week. Yeah. A, 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 a Jeremy Grant's Grant a good player. Just, Grant could just create more looks offensively. Grant is a much more skilled offensive player. But he but, is not a good defender. But what do you need next to Brunson and Randall? Def- defense. Defense and if you could please hit a three. Tom Izzo, tuning in. What's up, Tom? Y'all got a game today? Says your defense is clearly already better. Izzo, you know ball. Tom Izzo knows ball. Oh, man. We got 1,000 people watching. Shout out to Parrish. $2 super chat. I'm a fan of Jeremy Grant, but I only really wanted to trade for him if you were moving out R.J. Barrett. Uh, you already got an R.J. Barrett replacement, and I think OG Ananobi is leaps and bounds more of an impact winning player. Uh, than Jeremy Grant. Michael Vasquez says, let's not forget Randall, 21 points at the half. Randall's played good, man. I mean, look, you're up 12. Talk against... about easy looks. He's been really good. Randall's got 21 points, 6 of 10. Even Chenzo is 1 of 3 from 3. And Brunson is 5 of 15. Brunson has struggled. I, I, I wouldn't have thought he's 5 of 15. No, I wouldn't think he's 5 of 15, but it has, clearly hasn't shown... Or it clearly hasn't hurt the Knicks. Do you hear that, what, what Marsha said there, though? Julius Randle, 21 points, 6 of 10 shooting. That doesn't really add up, right? He's getting to the line and knocking them down. Yeah, 7 of 8 from the line. Another reason the Knicks are in steady control of this game, which is far from over, they have missed one free throw. They have missed one free throw. What's that team turnover number? Knicks are at three turnovers. So you're, you're winning on the margin. You're shooting better than them from the free throw line, 13 of 14. They're 13 of 18. And the Knicks have three turnovers to the Minnesota Timberwolves, eight turnovers. The I difference mean, in this game. Bush Kid coming in with a $10 super chat says, Marsh, take a shot for the OG and we LG for two. I will take a shot, Henny. Let's ride. As the Knicks start the half, it's going to be a jumper off the mark. Minnesota, Minnesota will control going the other way. Michael Conley, the veteran of their team, creating for their offense. Gets to the foul line, his push shot, no good. He airballed it. Randall saved it, threw it off of Conley. What a heady play from Julius Randall. You don't say that too much. What a, I love that phrase as well. What a heady play. <laughs> what a heady play. Let's go, Knicks. Blow this thing open. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's go. Brunson bringing it up the left side. He'll be met by McDaniels, one of the top perimeter defenders. Brunson, inefficient in the first half. As Randall loses his dribble, Hartenstein controls. Throws a backdoor pass to DiVincenzo. Lays it up on the reverse. A beautiful play from DiVincenzo as we got a three-point goal. Rob! Rodriguez! It says Bobby Alexander, but that's Rob Rodriguez. Unless it is Bobby and he just grabbed Rob's picture. Rob Rodriguez! As Julius Randle drives, kicks it out, but it's turned over. Minnesota on the break. Conley will take a three. No good. 
Ananobi batted around. It goes to Towns. He'll push. No good. <laughs> Rebound by the Knicks. That is Rob Rod, right? I hope Bobby Alexander is not just using your profile picture, unless y'all both got this number. I believe that's Rob Rod. I'm 99% sure. Brunson, foul line jumper. No good. Rob, a.k.a. Bobby, says Knicks are looking more fluid. Just need to get a cut. Com a com uh, need get a commit mental it from Randall and should not shoot I don't know be on the break throws it down with a right hand stuff Smitty three dunks for Ananobi electrifying Bobby Alexander I got a shot I got a shotgun for you let's go as that's going to be a three off the mark for Minnesota OG Ananobi on the break has impressed me his athleticism has popped off the page for me DiVincenzo, pump fake, drives, floater, babied it, balls loose, rebound by Minnesota. Brunson, it's a one-on-one -on -one fast break. McDaniels, Brunson tries to take a charge, and they call a block. Hector Rivera, $10 super chat. Shout out to Hector. Says, first time here. Good job. Hector, I appreciate the kind words, my man. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with us. We just like to have fun inform, entertain, and watch some Knicks hoops. Ananobi's athleticism has jumped off the page to me. Uh, got three dunks. Three dunks. And like two of them were like through traffic. That was a fast break one-hand dunk, dude. Sixty-five, fifty-three, nine twenty-four to go. Rob Rod, happy new year, brother. Good to see you, my man. For thank you for stopping by. That's that's a legend right there. When you see Rob Rodriguez, aka Bobby Alexander in the chat, show some love in the chat. As DiVincenzo reverse layup off the glass and in. Let's go. Will, what do you mean? J Rock, what up, bro? Nick's 15 assists today, Smitty. Anthony Edwards drives, creative finish off the bounce. Nice shot from Edwards. 67-55, 8.50 to go in the third. Brunson kicks it to Randall. Randall's one-on-one on, -one on Gobert. He'll drive, kicks. Chenzo had a three, didn't take it. Now he's going to drive, beats Edwards off the glass, tried to throw it down and missed it. Steven Chenzo went up for the baseline dunk after he blew by Edwards, but the ball slipped out of his hand, went over the goal, and then he caught his own rebound. That's a travel. He, he just lost the ball. That would have been electric. Steven Chenzo's got sneaky bunnies. It's sneaky because he's white. <laughs> Conley on top, swings it, cat, rip through, alley oop, go bear, too high. In and out, actually. It's a rebound by the Knicks, and then it's a turnover. Nope, Randall gets it back. He could walk in for a three. Picks his dribble up, kicks it to Brunson. He'll drive baseline, drops it off to a cutting and an OB. He throws it down. Oh, my God, what a pass. Brunson with a sneaky no-look bounce, and Ananobi flushes it with two. Four dunks for Ananobi today. Conley drives, floater, missed. Rebound by DiVincenzo. Knicks have numbers. Randall on the break, lays it up, blocked. Wow, what an emphatic rejection by Minnesota. And Ann Edwards drives to the cup and throws it down with two. And they call a foul on Jalen Brunson. Wow. Anthony Edwards might have the best highlights in the NBA. OG and Anobi is good at the dunking thing. He is good at the dunking thing. The two-hand vertical cut, cutting dunks. <laughs> You know, everybody's favorite. OG Ananobi is really good at the dunking thing where he jumps and he throws it through the rim and then hangs on it. I don't know. We haven't seen much of that this year, the dunking thing. And OG Ananobi is pretty good at that. Mix up by 11. Brunson's going to drive at Gobert. Dribbles all the way through, and now he'll reset. He'll kick it to Randall. He'll be one-on-one -on -one versus Cat. Gets to the lane. Randall, layup. Good! Hey. Carl. Is this what you thought you were getting? Is this what you thought you were getting, Carl? 
Tough take by Julius. And Edwards drives. Pass stolen by DiVincenzo. Knicks have numbers. He'll look to go. Lays it up and in. DiVincenzo on the break. Knicks up 15 with seven minutes to go. And that's a timeout from Minnesota. Let's go, Knicks. Get the LGKs in the chat. Get the LGKs in the chat. Let's go, Knicks. This is fun. This is fun. Shout out to Michael Vasquez, Shipmaster Kyle, Ty Johnson, Ten Toes Trey, Stacks LL, Bill Williamson. Malachi Flint is not playing. Scully Man says Brunson has a double double. Brunson's got 10 assists. Let's go. Randall Neptune says game has started. What do you mean? It's the third quarter. We're up 15, my man. I know you've seen OG doing his thing out there. Tom Izzo says he's the Tatum stopper. S teacher planner. Happy New Year. Valentina official. Brian. Big Johnson says Dante needs more props. Dante even Chenzo is a good player, my man. Yeah! Terrence Myers. $5 super chat. Says look at the stats. Go, New York, go, New York, go. Go, New York, go, New York, go. Grimes, got to be impressed by the way Quentin Grimes has played basketball today. Parrish, my thing with Ananobi next to Grant, where is he playing? Where is Jeremy Grant playing? You got Randall at your power forward. He's better than Grant. You got Ananobi at your small forward. He's better than Grant. Jeremy Grant's not a two guard. If you want to pay him $40 million to come off the bench, I just don't believe that's a recipe for success. Gold44 says, Nick's made me have fun today. I hate him. Who's him? Me? That's cool. You can hate me. Ev Gerd says, can Go Bear just chill? Tom Mizzle says, this is exactly how I felt watching Nick Nurse turn the Sixers around. Jalen Brunson, 10 assists today, Smitty. Zero turnovers. 10 assists for Brunson, zero turnovers. It's crazy. When you have people that move and cut and make shots, you can get assists. Nick's might have found something. All-timer. All-timer. All right, here we go. Start of the third quarter underway. We got seven minutes to go. They're going to post up McDaniels on Dante DiVincenzo. Missed shot, rebound by Hartenstein. Mix up by 15. Let's, let's blow this piece up. Randall, DiVincenzo, Brunson, Hartenstein, and OG Ananobi are on the floor. Knicks are shooting 45% from the field today. Brunson up top, going to get a screen from Hartenstein. He'll drive left and swing it to Randall. Randall and Cat have been battling. They've both played well. Randall takes a hook shot, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Randall's made it a point tonight to try to get to the line. I like that out of him. I think that's when he's playing his best. Uh, we know he can shoot it. We know he can get his shot off. Uh, he's been inconsistent from three this year, shooting less than 30%. So I like it when he goes, when he just goes into the cup, and he's like, you're not going to stop me 6'8", 250 from getting to the line. It's so funny because that's actually his mindset. It should be. He's throwing up the shot no matter what. Yeah. We got 1,100 people watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. We are less than 250 subscribers away from getting to 31,000. We want to get to 31,000 subscribers We can tonight. so do it. There's so much game left. We can so get to 31K. Let's ride. As Brunson is going to shoot a technical foul shot, I believe the Timberwolves coach was teed up. Brunson knocks it down. They're up 16. If you're subscribed to the channel, 
type me in the chat. Smitty will give you shout outs. If you're subscribed yeah. and you're a real one, type me in the chat. Smitty's giving shout outs. Every J Rock. Time I see J Rock in the building. Let's go. What up, EC? Michael? EV? Joel? G5 or, or GS? Max Flores, Swan, Sebastian Kid, Lamar, Stax, Carl, Bush Kid, John Lee. As DJ Randall Scrubox. misses the free throw. Ananobi with the offensive board. Steven is going to be fouled. It'll be Nick's ball, side out of bounds. Look at OG Ananobi on a missed free throw, dives in and gets the offensive board. He's got three tonight. Has RJ ever got an offensive rebound? We can be I nice. We can be nice to OG without being mean to RJ. I, I, I am trashing on RJ. You're not a Knicks fan, though, so it doesn't matter. That's true. Get the Mies in the chat. Help us get to 31,000 subs. As Randall drives, gets it to OG. OG drives. He has the ball poked away. It'll be a turnover. Here comes Ann Edwards. He'll look to go. He'll kick it around. Nas Reed now will drive. McDaniels has an open three. He passes it up. Anderson drives. Great D by Ann and Obi. Alexander, Nick, what's his name? Nick Alexander Walker? Nickel? He misses a three. Good defense by the Knicks. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one up top, guarded by McDaniels, gets into the paint, throws up that floater, in and out, Hartenstein with the board, and one put back, Isaiah Hartenstein, a bully in the paint, cleans up the miss, and it's a three-point play opportunity. <laughs> go New York, go New York, go, go New York, go New York, go, let's go Knicks. Ah. Uh. Hartenstein, free throw, lefty, yes. Mix up by 19 against the top team in the West. They're number one in the West, right? So wait, we're beating the number one team in the West by 20? It's weird. Nas Reed, three, off the mark. And they're going to call Ananobi for a loose ball foul as he went up and just palmed the basketball off the glass. Dude, he's a freakish athlete. I didn't understand that. I didn't know that. He got huge hands too. That, that, that's what I mean. Like that's what helps him with deflections and whatnot. And Isaac Petey, um, uh, slept a little bit, not a lot. Edwards drives, kicks, ball movement from Minnesota. Alexander Walker will drive. Good D by Divincenzo. He'll kick it out. Edwards with an open three. Good. Just Can't good ball that. movement. You allow that many paint touches and that much ball movement, you're going to yeah. find an open shooter. Oh, good yeah. offensive possession by Minnesota. Got home at five, up here doing the game. Let's ride. Brunson up top, gets a screen from Hartenstein, finds it open, DiVincenzo. He'll launch for three. Yes! Dante DiVincenzo, the big ragu. <laughs> Brunson, 11 assists as DiVincenzo. Off-ball defense is perfect, forces a miss. Brunson throws it up to DiVincenzo. And he finds back his buddy Jalen. Brunson drives, stops. Finds Ananobi. Corner three. Good! OG Ananobi for three. Bang! Get the OGs in the chat. He's got 14 points. He's six and nine from the field. As McDaniels drives, OG with the. Oh, they caught a foul. <laughs> That's good D. That's good D. Turn me up, Smitty. The Celtics fan looks a little nervous. That's all I'm oh, saying. stop. The Celtics fan looks a little nervous. OG's a good player, man. We go get Malcolm Brogdon and get Mitchell Robinson back. We're going to be a tough out. <laughs> We're, that, we are. I, are you going to be a tough out? That's all I'm saying. I don't think you're going to be an out, but I'm, you'll be a tough out. Just in case you're wondering, Raptors play tonight if you want to go be a fan of their team. Our team's pretty cool, though. Our team's pretty cool. That's not a foul, by the way, either. Look at that defense. That's textbook. Thibodeau is foaming at the mouth watching that as Ananobi is subbed out, and the guard and gives him a standing ovation. Nick's up by 21 with four and a half minutes to go in the third. Brunson up top, gets a screen from Hartenstein. He'll kick it to Randall. 12 on the shot clock. Randall one-on-one -on -one versus Anderson. 
It's a good matchup here. Randall just pushes off. Offensive foul. Offensive foul. Can't extend that arm. Randall gets called for it this time. Josh Benjamin with a $5 super chat. Shout out to Benji. Says, don't talk to me or my son, OG, ever again. People always are going to have opinions. You know what they say about opinions, Smitty? Everyone's got them, but the thing is, at least half the people have to be wrong. Half people are right, half people are wrong. It's a cruel, cruel world we live in. Four minutes and 14 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Knicks up by 21. It's going to be Hart, Randall, Grimes, Hartenstein, and Brunson on the floor as Hartenstein's called for a goaltend. Bucket good for Minnesota. Parrish is right. Size and versatility in your top seven players. Brunson will bring it up the left side. Just under four minutes to go in the game. Gets a high screen from Hartenstein. Swings it around to Hart. Hart to Grimes. Ball's moving around. Brunson's now going to go after it. He's going to go get a bucket here. Five on the shot clock. Gets a screen. Finds, oh, good fall. That's a steal from Minnesota. Brunson's the only man back, and it's going to be a layup up and in for Minnesota. It's a good, uh, no, I, thought, I thought the Knicks were going to call a timeout here. I think the Knicks should call a timeout here. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. we got 1,200 people watching. We're trying to get to 31,000 subscribers. I know that for a fact, there are 223 people watching that are not subscribed. Please hit that sub button. I'd appreciate it. As Heedy says, only eight assists for Minnesota due to ball pressure. Yes, sir. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Brunson drives, kicks. It's going to be deflected out by Minnesota. Uh, I'm right there with you, Heedy. Like, it is evident how much better the Knicks defense already is. Like, already they are much better on defense. I mean, you've held a team to 66 points. And we've almost played three quarters. Hard sign, drives, kicks. Randall goes up for it, but it was blocked. It'll be Nick's ball, side out of bounds with five seconds to go on the shot clock. As Tom Thibodeau is going to call a timeout. When we come back from timeout, it'll be Nick's ball on the baseline, five to throw it in. Hit that sub button, please, 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 please. Greatly appreciate it. That's how we put food on the table. Hit that sub button. Let's go. SKOE. We'll get to your super chat in just one second. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. Use the promo code NicksChat50, and you'll save yourself 50% off when you get hooked up with Factor. If you're looking for fresh, never frozen meals that are chef prepared, dietitian approved, and ready to eat in just two minutes that taste phenomenal and can keep you on track with all of your health and health lifestyle goals, get hooked up with Factor. It's factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. If you're looking for low-carb meals, they have that as an option. If you're looking for high-protein meals, they have that as an option. If you're looking for calorie-conscious meals, they have meals for that, breakfast, lunch, dinner. They've also got awesome smoothies. They've got good protein shakes. Factor has changed my life. I've tried the meal prepping thing. It doesn't work. Factor just fits my lifestyle. Betty, uh, Betty, better. <laughs> Get hooked up with Factor for real. The food's awesome. It tastes good. It makes me more efficient in my week. Factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. Promo code NicksChat50. Save 50% off. Hector Rivera says, subscribed. Done. Shout out to Hector Rivera. Came with a super chat earlier. We appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that's showing in. Who is Betty? <laughs> Betty. Are there like children still being named Betty in 2023 and now 2024? I hope not. I hope not. If, you, I'm, if you're, like that's a name that just, I think once you hit 1990, you can't name kids Betty anymore. Oh, absolutely. You're asking for your kid to get bullied. Does anyone know a Betty under the age of 30? If so, I'd like to meet her. If anyone knows a Betty under usually, the age of 30, let me know. it's a nickname, I believe, for Elizabeth. Yeah. So usually Betty is a choice. I don't think many people are making that choice anymore. <laughs> I don't think so either. 
Oh, my headache is killing me. Maybe the Hennessy wasn't a good idea. Yeah, Keontae George. When you get a sec, can I get some more water? Thanks, boss. Shout out to Smitty. AJ McMecca says, I think we found our metal world peace. A Ron Artest? I don't know if we need a Ron Artest, but a young Ron Artest, I'll take. I'll take. Here we go. Brunson will throw it in. Five on the shot clock. Gets it to Randall. Randall's going to go one-on-one -on -one versus Edwards. Takes a deep step back two. Good! What a shot by Julius Randall. What a shot by Julius Randall. He's up to 25 on the night. 8 of 15 from the deck. An efficient game from Big Julius. Ant Edwards. He'll drive on Hartenstein. Takes a layup. He's fouled. Cannot convert the bucket. He'll go to the line for two. Smitty, we appreciate it, brother. Got to stay hydrated. Oh, my God. Ice, you're a lifesaver. <coughs> Brutal. Edwards at the line. First free throw. Good. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Has Precious played? He played in the first half. Um, yeah, didn't, didn't do much. Second free throw, good. Rashard Lee says, Marshall, you'd love the Eagles' struggle. Yeah, we told everybody the Eagles were not a good football team. Look at them now. Nick's going back to the same lineup that did not work in the first half. Where it's McBride, Grimes, Hart. Well, last time it was DiVincenzo. Now it's McBride, Grimes, Hart, Randall, and Hartenstein. That lineup scored one point oh, so even, in three minutes and 50 seconds. So even less offense in that lineup now. Yeah, you switched out DiVincenzo for Grimes. You know, Grimes can be great offensively, but off the dribble, DiVincenzo is clearly the better option. Yeah. Randall is going to have to lead this group. We're going to Isaiah Hartenstein. Backdoor pass to Randall. Too far out. Turnover. Yeah. As Minnesota pushes, Anderson kicks out. Open three for Minnesota. Good. 14-point game. This one is not over. This one's not over. 85-71. Two and a half minutes to go. Nick's got to close. Nick's got to close this quarter strong. Like, if you're going to play this unit, they got to get stops. As McBride drives, kicks, Randall to Grimes. Now he'll get a crack at it. Throws it up to Hardenstein. Nick's moving around. Someone's going to have to shoot it. McBride will from 16 off the back iron. Rebound by Hardenstein. Randall for three. Air ball. Air ball. Too much passing. Too much passing. Nick's have 13 offensive rebounds tonight. There is such thing as being too unselfish. Edwards, left side, guarded by Grimes, kicks it out. Nas Reed, three, no good. Rebound by Josh, up ahead to Hardenstein. He's got one man to beat, lays it up, and one! Isaiah Hardenstein in transition, took the contact, laid it up and in. Big 55 with a big time bucket. Hey, lay! Get the 55s in the chat. I heart. Shout out to I heart. Hartenstein converts the three point play. Nick's up 17 with just under two minutes to go. It's about stops at this point. Hartenstein, six points, nine rebounds, three steals, two blocks. He's been electric. Anthony Edwards takes a three. Off the mark, rebound by Josh Hart. He'll bring it up that left side. Hart's always a threat to go coast to coast. He'll slow it down this time, and we're going to go Julius Randle one-on-one versus Anderson, and he has the ball poked away. Turnover. Minnesota on the break. Nas Reed throws it down. A couple of turnovers here out of this group. Got to be smarter with the basketball. Can't let the T-Wolves get this game to single digits by the time you get to the fourth. And that's the thing about this, this lineup. There's no ball handling. There's not one ball handling on the floor right now for New York. The Knicks had three turnovers in the first half. They have seven in the quarter. Grimes, three, yes! Josh Hart drives, kicks, Grimes, yes! It's a big-time bucket. It's a big-time bucket, especially out of this unit. Alexander Walker behind the back pass. Reed kicks, three. 
No good. Hart skies in for the board. It's a three-on-three -three break. Hart's going to go all the way. Layup blocked. Randall with the putback layup. Nick's up by 20. 43 left to go in the quarter. Let's go, Knicks. 20-second chance points for the Knicks. They've been electric tonight. Edwards, now one-on-one -on -one versus Randall. He'll take a step back three. Good. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Twenty-five seconds in the quarter. Randall has it up top. Dribble hand off to Grimes. Put it on the deck. QG go. Grimes drives. Nice pass to Hardenstein, who's fouled. That might be a flagrant. That might be a flagrant on Nas Reed. I'm not relatively sure that that's a basketball play. Hardenstein's going to go to the line for two. Would not be shocked if the Stripes looked at this one. I mean, is this a basketball play? Grabs him up by the shoulder and yanks him down. Look, I think that's a foul, but I know the way the NBA is officiated, and that might be a flagrant. Not saying it is, but you can't grab someone and pull down at the head and shoulder neck area. But, of course, since Hardenstein's that, dot, that guy, this is straight up dog out there. They're not going to look at it as he misses the free throw. Albeit, uh, or, or God let that be Anthony Edwards, and that would have been a flagrant two. Oh my God, that was Damian Lillard or Trey Young. You might have been suspended. Mix up by 17. Hardenstein could make it 18 with this free throw. He does. 17 seconds left in the quarter. Let's get a stop here. Let's get a stop here. Let's get some Ryan Archie Diacono minutes in the fourth quarter. How about that? We're less than 200 subscribers away. We can get there. Hit that sub button. As McGruger, I believe, right? Is that Rodney McGruger? No? Something like that. Josh Hart's going to let a three go. He doesn't get it off. We're going to the fourth quarter. Type those fours. I'll look it up. I got this box score right here. Uh, McLaughlin. Jordan McLaughlin out of USC. Fourth quarter time. Type those fours. Type those fours. Let's go, Knicks. Get the fours in the chat. Fours in the chat. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Knicks. Brian says, are we at 500 likes? We're at 460 likes. So if you haven't hit that thumbs up icon, would greatly appreciate it if you did. We're 39 likes away from 500. Let's go. Gabriel says, are we missing RJ? Not yet. Not yet. Let's be nice to RJ. Be nice to RJ. RJ is awesome. So is OG. Shot to, uh, Ty Johnson. Come on. Wellington Davies in the chat. What up, Wellington? Juan LaGuardia. John Murdoch in the chat. Big Johnson. Ginger Turtle says, am I the only one against the d -Mitch trade? No. Um, I don't think he's the perfect fit. I don't think Donovan Mitchell's the perfect fit for the Knicks. But I understand why they would do it. You have two guards that can go get you 30 any night. And you have a defense that right now, without Mitchell Robinson, has held the best team in the Western Conference to 26, 76 points in three quarters. I mean... I don't think that it would be a bad move trading for Donovan Mitchell. matters what you give up, too. What up, AJ McMecca? Stack says he's going to force his way to New York. Terrence Myers in the building. Let's go. Fat Cat says Donovan Mitchell is a bum. Ninety-four seventy-eight, Smitty. They got it at 94-78. This clock and score bug has been a joke. Is this the second game in a row we've done this? Asher says, where do you get your drip from? This was actually a gift, so I don't know where this was purchased from. I got this last year around, uh, for my birthday. Last year for my birthday for my pop. Shout out to Fred. I'm actually going to the game 
next Thursday, uh, January 11th, Mavs versus the Knicks. So no watch party tonight versus the Mavs. Um, I do live and work in Dallas, so I'm going to go to that Mavs and Knicks game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Me, Seeps, and my pops are all going, so that'll be fun. Oh, that's right. Really? All right. Timberwolves start the ball with, or start the half quarter with the ball, and what do you know? OG and Anobi forces a missed shot versus Carl Anthony Towns. It's Brunson, Hart, Precious Achua, Grimes, and OG and Anobi in the game for the Knicks. Brunson, tried by, guarded by Conley, puts a shoulder into him and just misses the bunny. Brunson has been off for about a week now. He's got 10 assists tonight, plus. Like, one away from his career high. As Conley drives, balls poked away by Brunson as he talks to the ref saying he got bumped on the other end. Got a lot of defenders around with Jalen Brunson on the floor right now. As Cat goes at OG and gets the layup to go. The fact that you just trust OG to guard Cat speaks volumes to what he is on that side of the court. Mixed up by 14. This one is not over. They're going to have to continue to get buckets and get stops. Brunson up top. Guarded by Conley. One on one. Go to work, JB. Picks his dribble up. Kicks it to Grimes. Grimes right back to him. Five on the shot clock. Brunson into the paint. And the ball is stolen. Brunson has really struggled. And it's going to be a run out layup for McDaniels. Check that. Not a layup. That's a poster. Precious Achua just got posterized. And it's a 12-point game. And I'm a little nervous. And I'm a little nervous. 12 is nothing, man. Nick's got to be able to get some buckets here. Get this lead back extended. Because 12 is, you know, 12 is the new six. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. 185 subscribers away from 31,000. We got 1,300 people watching. I know there's 185 people watching that are not subscribed. I kindly ask you to do so. This is my job. This is how we put food on the table. And we want to make this the largest Knicks channel on YouTube. And we want everyone watching right now on a holiday to be a part of that journey. Sub for Knicks dubs. If you want the Knicks to beat the T-Wolves, subscribe to the channel. If you are subscribed, drop a real one in the chat so I know who the real ones are. If you're subscribed, comment real one down below. I want to know who the real ones are. Let's go. Ginger Turtle's a real one. Young Mobbin, Commissioner Middleton, William McConaughey, the Knight Rider. Crazy. A Asher Hussein, King Ja, Alexander, Will, EC, Frankie, Ty Johnson, Shipmaster Kyle, Stax, Ashley Anderson says, loving your energy. I'm loving your energy, Ashley. Tom Izzo says, Jalen, take over time. He's really struggled tonight. Um, someone else is going to have to do it down the stretch. Unless Brunson just goes crazy, we know he can catch fire. Tiger Hart, John Pettit, Eugene Pickett, Jay Luis, Az Azrael, Johnson Yu, Terrence Myers, King Ja, Patrick Green, Thrift by Nature, Dave McDrip, Mo B, Stephen G, Jimothy Jenkins, Kid Lamar, S. Teacher Planner, Brunson is our star, Sully, Randall Neptune, Prince McFadden, Brian Fitzgerald, Fat Cat. What up, Fat Cat? Bunch of real ones in the chat. What up, J-Rock? Dela Cruz, Jeff Baker, Stephen G, Brash, Curtis Jackson, 4K. What's on the top of your mouth? Roof. What does the dog say? Roof. We coming to tear the what off this month? Roof. Brian B, 4K. William McConaughey says, question, Brunson has 12 assists tonight. Do you think getting a little better spacing could allow more assists for him? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I, I think OG has one three tonight. You haven't even really got to see him as a shooter. And he's not a Clay Thompson guy from three, but he's a very good catch-and-shoot player. And I think that team just respect him more. You have to guard him a little bit closer. Got to deny when he's off ball. And that just opens up the lane for Brunson to drive. He hasn't converted the takes tonight. We know Brunson will do that. Um, Another thing about OG, you know, uh, when he's on the perimeter is defenders have to be wary about him cutting. He's super, got a quick, super point. quick first step off the ball, and he's shown that multiple times tonight, cutting in the lane. Cut to the lane, catch, vertical, two-handed dunk. All right, here we go. 11 minutes to go, Knicks up 12. It's Brunson, Hart, Achua, OG, and Grimes in the game for the Knicks. Brunson up top, really struggled from the field. 
He's been a great orchestrator tonight. He's going to take Conley into the post, gets a screen from Achua, kicks it out to Hart. Hart's now going to be guarded by Conley. He's going to have to make some work. He'll get into the paint, spins, ball poked away. It'll be Nick's ball thrown in from the baseline with 2.2 to go. It's where the Knicks just miss kind of Emmanuel quickly, that second guard that can play alongside Brunson and create for others. Brunson will throw it in with 2.2 to go. Brunson looking, gets it to Ananobi. He'll have to get it off. He'll take a mid-range jumper, in and out. Ananobi almost makes one from the baseline. 12-point game. Nick Saddle got to play some defense. As Timberwolves drive, kick it to Cat. Cat goes at Ananobi. Bucket. Bucket for Cat. 10-point game. 10-point game. The Timberwolves are 3 of 4 for, from, from the field in the quarter. Knicks are 0 for 3. Brunson's got to get it going. They need his offense. He'll take a mid-range jumper off the mark. Yeah, Knicks are really struggling, I think, to get good opportune looks here. As Cat throws it into Gobert, he'll be guarded by Achua, and he just bullies him in the paint. Eight-point game. Might be time to get Randall and DiVincenzo in the game for some offense. This I mean, group's not getting stops. you got to get the starters in. When you're asking Josh Hart to dribble down the shot clock and do a spin move in the paint runner, like, it's just not his game. you got to have guys who can generate more shots off the dribble. And the Knicks, you know, they had a ton of assists earlier. Like, they moving the ball super well. They, they've gone stagnant and, and settled for some bad shots early, early in the shot clock, and then they've, they've suffered late in the shot clock as well. This is where you need that other guard. Their whole defensive game plan when it's that lineup is don't let Brunson beat you. They're saying we're living with everybody else. Yep. Um, you need someone else that can break the defense down, create for themselves and others. Yeah, Brunson's been struggling. Brunson's been struggling. Uh, love the way he's played point guard today. I thought he's created a lot of open looks for a lot of players. But um, you gotta you got to get some buckets to fall in this fourth quarter, JB. We need you. Yeah, se second half Knicks, they really just haven't hit jump shots. No. Like they've, you know, they've gotten some nice looks on, on layups and whatnot, but a lot of looks have been tougher than that second quarter where they exploded for 40 points. Let's get the starters in to close the game. Let's get the starters in to close the game. Let's go play 10 minutes. Let's go win a ball game. Let's go win a ball game. We got 1,200 people watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Sub for Knicks Dubs. We're trying to get to 31,000 subscribers tonight. 31,000 subscribers tonight. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. As Creed back again with a five dollar super chat. Shout out to Creed. Says every time I donate, we go on a run. Praying for it. Speak it into existence, Creed. Appreciate you supporting the channel, my man. Thanks for being a real one. It's people like Creed that keep this channel afloat. Shout out to him. Tamar Bowles, what's up, homie? King Ja says Murray is 6'5 with a 6'10 wingspan. I, I think a DeJounte Murray on this team really, really helps. I mean, you can see it. Like right now, they're they're struggling. Br Brunson is the only guard that can create for himself and others right now. And and in looking at the other side of the ball, too, like you can be comfortable leaving Julie, uh, no, excuse me, uh, Jalen Brunson for long stretches of a postseason fourth quarter with DeJounte Murray in the backcourt yep. as well. He can run your offense. Yep. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Sub for Nick Stubbs. Come on. Turn it up. It's loud at MSG. Let's go. Close this out. Josh Hart will get it into Grimes. Look at Timberwolves playing full court pressure. Now they'll back off, and Brunson will bring it up. In the game is Grimes in and Obi, Hart, and Brunson with Hartenstein. Brunson up top, gets a screen from Hartenstein. He's blitzed by Gobert. They swing it around. Ananobi in the corner had it. They'll give it back to Brunson. Five on the shot clock. Brunson being defended by McDaniels. His length has been a problem. Brunson top of the key, off the mark. Ball's loose. Rebound by Minnesota. Not a great shot. Now, when it comes to quality of shot for the Knicks there, 
the length of McDaniels has really affected Brunson in this sec this game. Cat, top of the key, guarded by Hartenstein. He'll put it on the deck, then gets into the lane. He'll take a fall away hook shot. Good. Six-point game. Six-point game. Don't love this. Don't love this. Come on, JB. Knicks haven't made a shot this quarter. We've been playing hoops for three-plus minutes. Brunson gets into the lane, kicks, in an OB3. Good! OG and an OB knocks it down from the right corner off the feed from Brunson. That's what I'm talking about. Good hoops. Cat now being defended by OG. He'll drop it back off to Conley. 10 on the shot clock. Conley runs a screen with Gobert. Knife to the right side. It's going to be a off ball foul on Brunson. Off ball foul on Brunson. Ball will stick here with the T Wolves. Cat helped off OG. Brunson found him in that right corner and he made him pay. Get the OGs in the chat. Get the OGs in the chat. Conley up top. 10 on the clock. They're going to post up Cat. Josh Hart guarding him. Hart drops it off. Blocked! Hartenstein stuffs Gobert. Hart's out and running. And it'll be Nick's ball on the baseline. Almost threw it away, but it bounced off Minnesota. Smitty, that's the third time tonight Hartenstein has met Gobert at the 10, and he said, no, sir. Might be the best defensive game of his career. He's defended the pick and roll well. He's blocked alley oops. He's blocked Gobert dunks coming at him. I see OG right there too. Oh, OG no, it, was right there too. Yeah, he absolutely affected that shot. Hardenstein has it. He'll kick it out to Brunson. Randall is checked in. Brunson comes off the screen, gets it to Randall. Randall has a three. He'll take it, and he airballed it. That's the second air ball from three tonight for Julius Randall. Go, go to the lane. Go to the lane, man. Come on, come on. Creed, you might be on to something, Creed. You may be on to something, Creed. We got 1,400 people watching. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 31,000 subs today. We're taking Hennessy shots when we get to 31K. Let's go. Conley up top. Gets the screen from Gobert. He'll drive. Kicks. It's going to be a crossover. Floater. Good. McLaughlin with a tough bucket for Minnesota. Cuts the lead to seven as we have seven and a half minutes to go. Jalen Brunson has it up top. They're extending their defense all the way to midcourt. Gets a screen from Randall. Drops it off to Julius. Julius will now go one-on-one -on -one versus Cat. Now Julius faces up, drops it off. Brunson going to go at Cat. Cross him over. Gets the lane. Layup. No good, but he's fouled. Oh, that was an easy three-point play. Brunson couldn't get it to fall. There's just a lid on the bucket for Brunson right now. But hopefully he can take it off with two free throws. Sometimes you get two free throws in a game like this to see them go through. It can change the way you look at shots the rest of the night. The Knicks are going to need Jalen Brunson to be able to hit some buckets down the stretch to win this game. He can make it a nine-point game with seven minutes to go if he goes two for two here. Brunson with 13 assists tonight. 13 assists for night. 13 assists tonight, excuse me, for Jalen Brunson. Has not been efficient with the ball when it comes to scoring Smitty, but he's made a winning impact in other ways. Come on. Come on. 98-90. Brunson could make it 99-90. He made the first free throw. Gets into his routine. Second one is up and in. Hopefully that can have Brunson seeing the bucket a little bit more clear. 99-90, seven minutes to go. Nick's got to lock in on defense. Comes down to stops at this point. McLaughlin up top, swings it to Towns. Towns guarded by Randall. He drives, he's fouled. Cat goes to the line for two. Look how much of a difference it is when Randall is guarding Towns and when OG is guarding Towns. OG is four inches shorter than, than Randall? No, Randall's like 6'9", OG's 6'8". OG's a full 6'8"? I didn't know that. It was more like 6'6". Six, six. I think I saw 6'8", 230. Maybe 6'7", 230. That's a big body. Cat at the line here. 
First free throw, good. Rattles at home. Eh, yeah. They're only a one inch off either way. Ninety nine, ninety one. Cat at the line looking for one more. We got fourteen hundred people watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as Cat knocks down both free throws. Seven minutes to go. Seven point game, seven minutes to go. Knicks control the ball. Uh, McDaniels has really affected Brunson and I. Brunson gets into the paint, pulls up, 10 footer, in and out again for Jalen Brunson. <sighs> ah, man, Brunson can't get it going. Cat, transition, three, good. Wow, four point game. Randall sat back, Towns made him pay. Wow. Four point game, what a comeback for the T Wolves. Brunson. Drives, kicks to Ananobi in the corner. He'll relocate it to Randall. Randall goes at Cat. Cat flopped. And they call an offensive foul. I mean, here's the replay. Yeah, Towns just got into a defensive stance, got in the way of Randall, and Randall drove through him. I'd like to see DiVincenzo in the game for Hart. Knicks need buckets. That's a travel. Travel on Anthony Edwards. Knicks ball going the other way. I, DiVincenzo should be in the game. DiVincenzo should be in this game for Josh Hart right now. The Knicks need another shooter out there. They're just helping off Hart, and it's, it's clogging the paint. Brunson to Randall. Randall's got an open 18-footer. He didn't take it. Now he's going to go at Cat. Pump fake, fall away floater. No good. Hart with the rebound. And then he's fouled. And then he's fouled. Hart does give you those second chance opportunities. He's a guy that helps you on the margins. Hartenstein hands it off to Brunson. Brunson spins, kicks. Hart in the corner, pump fake, passes batted, five on the shot clock. Brunson's going to have to go here. Gets into the lane, drops it off to Hartenstein. It's going to be a shot clock violation. Brunson is just playing awful basketball right now when it comes to scoring. He just knifed into the paint, begging for a call, and, and set, set up a Hartenstein for no success right there. Brunson's got to lock in. Come on, Brunson. McLaughlin up top. Cat, three, air ball. Good defense by Randall. Rebound by Hart. We got five and a half to go, and Josh Hart is fouled. It's two fouls in a row. Hopefully the Knicks can get into the penalty soon. That would help him out. So what does that mean? One away? Two? Two? This is going to be a timeout here. Or Randall is bleeding. Randall is bleeding. So he's going to be subbed out. Saying, hey, I got fouled. Of course he did. He's fucking bleeding. We're 140 subscribers away from 31,000. We got 1,500 people watching. Can we get to 31,000 tonight? Can we get to 31,000 tonight? Hit that sub button. Free. Knicks videos every day. We go live for almost every single game day. We're your one-stop shop for everything New York Knicks. Please hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. I understand why Hart is in this game, but at the end of the day, who is he defending? You got OG guarding Ant. You got Randall guarding Towns. I mean, are we scared Jaden McDaniels is going to score on DiVincenzo? I think the ability to have a ready... It's the readiness that DiVincenzo brings in to be a catch-and-fire player that causes the paint to be less uh, occupied. TM Ninja says, love you, Amazon, dude. Talking about me? Uh, because I, are you talking about Giants Amazon or are you a Packers Amazon? Four-point game, five and a half minutes to go. 
Sub for dubs. Let's go. Sub for dubs. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me. Here we go. Five and a half to go. Same five on the four. Brunson, Hart, Randall, Hartenstein, and OG. Brunson and Randall running a two-man game. Randall's now going to post up as Brunson has the ball guarded by Edwards. He'll swing it to Randall. Now Randall's going to have to go one-on-one. -on -one. Turn the shot clock. Nice jab step. Gets into the lane. Left-hand hook. Randall. Good! Big-time shot from Julius Randall. <laughs> Big-time. Big-time shot. 101-95. Edwards. Up top, gets a series of screens. Ananobi trailing, playing good defense. Great defense, stolen! What a defensive series as Brunson drops it off. Randall's fouled, they don't call it, but he lays it up and in. 103-95, the OG Ananobi effect is real. Smitty, the defense. Defense turned to offense. Ball stopper here in OG Ananobi. Anthony Edwards wanted to get downhill. OG Ananobi stopped him in his tracks, forced him into a bad pass, and the Knicks got out and running. Let's go, Knicks! OG Ananobi! Type those OGs in the chat. Type those OGs in the chat. That's incredible defense, dude. Anthony Edwards was one of the best from the foul line down in this league, and he just yep. locked him up. And OG is one of the best at staying on the ground. He not 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 jumping for ball fakes. Not not jumping too high. He keeps his hands up and feet Icy hot. down. B Baloli, welcome back, brother. He says, "All right, he's growing on me." It's electric. B Baloli, I told you, I told you, I told you. The man's a clamp. The man's a clamp. Samaj saying, is OG comparable to Kawhi? Yes, without the off-ball. Uh, the Defensively, yes. Defensively, yes. It is not the ability to score off the not, dribble. Not, they are not even close to the same on offense. Defensively, yes. Might even be a more efficient shooter of the basketball, but <laughs> uh, Kawhi does everything better on offense. I mean, you see him in the game. Anderson H says, yo, the OG hate is wild, you salty. I, I, look, the only people that are upset that OG and Obi is a Nick are fans of R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly. And that's okay. As fans, we grow to love players. Um, and it's a sad, it was a sad day for even me to see Emmanuel Quickly and R.J. Barrett go. But I think the Knicks made the right move, and I think we're seeing early, early signs of a payoff. Here we go. Knicks up eight. This is where you got to play defense. Conley up top, guarded by Brunson, gets a screen from Gobert, gets into the lane, kicks it out. Anthony Edwards guarded by OG. Edwards drives. Good defense. Oh, and they call a foul on Hartenstein. Hartenstein goes up straight, I thought. Edwards forced his way to the lane, and they're going to call a foul, I believe, on iHeart. Oh, they're calling the foul on Ananobi. I'm not sure where. And Anobi doesn't touch him. And Maybe down low, not up top. Edwards is going to go to the line for two, and he knocks in the first. We got 1,600 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that th thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. We're 122 subscribers away from 31,000 as Anthony Edwards makes both free throws. I know there's 120 people watching that are not subscribed. Please help me out. Subscribe to the channel. You get free Knicks content, videos every day, and live streams like this for game days. Would greatly appreciate it. Knicks got to get a bucket here. Brunson up top. Kicks. In an OB3. In and out. Oh, in an OB3. In and out. Knicks up by six. Edwards up top. Being defended by Randall. As I think OG Ananobi just fouled out. They call that an off-ball foul on Ananobi. Wow, we're going to foul out OG Ananobi on that call away from the ball? What are we doing, NBA? What are we doing? The people came to the game today to watch OG Ananobi. Standing ovation at the Garden for OG Ananobi. Where's the foul? 
I think you, as it's going to be a travel, an instant makeup call just to sub out OG and OB. Wow. OG and OB fouls out 17 points, six rebounds, seven of 12 from the field, three of six from downtown. Get the OGs in the chat. Dante DiVincenzo has subbed in. It's Brunson, Chenzo, Hart, Hartenstein, and Randall. Brunson driving, kicks, Chenzo, corner, gets it to Randall at the elbow. Randall one on one versus Towns. This is a matchup the Knicks like. Randall faces him up, kicks it out to Brunson. He'll have to launch a three. He does. In and out. That one looked good. They've all looked good from Brunson, but he can't get it to fall. Timeout, Minnesota. Ah, Brunson has passed the ball well. He shot it worse than ever. While we do go to a TV timeout, I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and you'll get a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stats. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. This is a lineup I'm rolling with for the college football playoff semifinals. I'm going with more uh, passing, rushing, and receiving touchdowns for Michael Penix, and I'm going to go with more rushing or receiving touchdowns for Xavier Worthy. If you're going to play Daily Fantasy Sports, do it with our sponsor at this link and get a $100 deposit match. Best way to play Daily Fantasy. That was an awful call on Ananobi. Awful, awful, awful. As we're 100 subscribers away, 100 subscribers away from 31,000. 99 subscribers away from 31,000. Hit that sub button. Sub to Knicks now. Sub for Knicks Dubs. If we get to, to 31,000, we'll do a Henny shot today. Henny shots once we get to 31,000. Oh, very disappointing. OG and Obi fouled out. Excellent effort. Here we go. Here we go, six point game, three minutes and 30 seconds to go. 95 subscribers, 94 subscribers away. Let's go. Sub for Nick Stubbs. Sub for Nick Stubbs. Let's go. Minnesota will have the ball, and they're also in the bonus. Sub for Dubs. 89 away. 89 away. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me in the chat. Let's go. Come on. Sit in that chair. Sit in that chair. Here we go. Conley. Class is half court. Minnesota moving it around. Go Bear. Hand off to Conley. He's going to get a screen from Towns. Good defense by the Knicks. Ten on the shot clock. It's going to be Anthony Edwards versus Josh Hart. Edwards stops. Picks up his dribble. Fall away two. No good. Hart with the big rebound and a good defensive stop. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go. Come on. Someone get a bucket here. Brunson has it at the logo, guarded by McDaniels. Hart, offensive foul. Awful, awful screen. Josh Hart just runs into McDaniels, and it gets called for an offensive foul. What are we doing, Josh? What are we doing, man? I mean, what the fuck is that? He just runs right into him. 80 subscribers away. 80 subscribers away. Hit that sub button. Six-point game. Three minutes to go. Defense. 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 Cat posting up on Randall. Right hand hook. Short. No good. Rebound by Julius. Knicks have the ball with 250. I almost feel like one big bucket here could do it. Brunson up top. He's doubled, swings it to Hart. Hart to DiVincenzo for three! In and out! DiVincenzo's three was halfway down. Now Anthony Edwards is going to drive his layup. No good! Hart with the rebound. Knicks are out and running. Randall's pushing. He could go. And now he slows it down. Kicks to Brunson for three! No good. DiVincenzo offensive rebound. Kicks it to Hart. Slow it down. 2.20 to go. Knicks control. 10 on the shot clock. Randall's going to go one-on-one -on -one versus McDaniels. Top of the key. Jab step. Jab step. Step back. Jumper. Good! 
Jackson, Julius Randle, a big time bucket. Type those 30s. Type those 30s. That's an elite bucket by Julius Randle. Let's go. Cat, one on one versus Julius. Spins, layup, good. Randle tried to draw the defensive foul, did not work. Six point game, 150 to go. One bucket, Brunson. We need one bucket. Brunson, drive. Now he's going to pull it back out. They're going to go right to Randall versus Towns. Go Bears helping. Randall, fall away two. Off the back rim and in. What a shot by Randall. He's on fire. He's got 35. <laughs> Defense. Edwards drives, kicks, three. No good. Rebound. Out of bounds. Oh, saved by you. Oh, my God. Towns three. Good. That ball almost went out of bounds. It was saved by Minnesota. And then Towns gets it for a three. Wow. Five-point game, 75 seconds to go. Sub for Nick Stubbs. We got 1,700 people watching. Sub for Dubs. Come on, Brunson. One bucket. Nick's up five. Go right back to Julius as well. They will. Randall has it. He didn't take the three. Now he's got McDaniels on him. Loses his dribble. Gets it back. Now Brunson has it. Five on the shot clock. Brunson kicks. DiVincenzo shoots for three. Off the back iron. No good. Five-point game. 45 seconds to go. Anthony Edwards controls. He'll drive and kick. Towns has it. He's got Brunson on him. Takes a floater. No good. Rebound by Brunson. Five-point game. 35 to go. They have to foul. They're going to have to foul. Brunson to Hart. Hart's in the paint. Just give it up, Josh. Julius controls. 25 in the game. Randall's going to drive. He's fouled. Layup good and one. Julius Randall puts on the big boy pants and brings home the win for the Knicks. Type those 30s. Type those 30s. Julius Randall, what a game. What a game. What a take, Julius Randle. Let's go, Knicks. Smitty, this is a big-time performance versus the best defense in the NBA. One of the best performances I've seen Julius Randle have down the stretch of a ball game, man. He has been lights out. Brunson didn't show up today. Randle took the team on his back and said, Let's go for a ride. 38 points for Randall. He's laughing, and the Garden crowd is on their feet. The Garden crowd is on their feet. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. Sub for Knicks Dubs. Hit that subscribe button informative, entertaining Knicks content every day. We'll be here for game days. Will you? That's the question. Subscribe. We are the New York Knicks. We are the New York Knicks. We are the New York Knicks. Hey, go New York. Go New York. Go. 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 Creed. As we got a Three-point goal. goal. Creed! Bang! Creed with a $50 super chat says we won this trade, baby. We contenders. Stop tripping. Everybody show Creed some love in the chat. Everybody show Creed some love in the chat. If someone matches Creed's $50 Super Chat, me and Smitty are going to do a beer shotgun race. If someone matches Creed's $50 Super Chat, I'm going to beer shotgun race versus producer Smitty. Show him some love. Shout out to Creed. The MVP of today's show. He said when he donates, the Knicks go on a run, and they did. And they did. All right. 
Minnesota controls, 23 seconds to go. Shot clock's turned off. Knicks just don't need to foul. As Conley drives, layup's good. Six-point game, 17 seconds. The Knicks get it into Brunson. Brunson up ahead to DiVincenzo, who finds Hart, who throws it down! Oh, they're going to say it was a foul on the pass. DiVincenzo will go to the line for two. DiVincenzo to the line for two. 50 subscribers away. We're 50 subscribers away. Sub for Knicks. Dubs. 50 subs away. 50 subs away. Can we get there? Can we get to 31,000? Can we get there? Hit that sub button. Oh! <laughs> you got to help me out here, Smitty. Here we go. We got a three-point goal. Menagerie. Bang! Let's go, Knicks. Let's go. As DiVincenzo made the first, missed the second. Seven-point game, 10 in the clock. Edwards drives, layup, good. Five-point game, five seconds to go. Just get the ball in. Hart finds Randall, and they're not going to foul, or they will. Randall's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. As Wellington Davies, my man, trade, LOL, Julius is going nowhere. We did a video yesterday on the channel. An NBA executive sat down with Michael Scotto of Hoops Hype. And that executive said that he believes the Knicks' next big trade will involve Julius Randle. I said in yesterday's video, I'm not trading Julius Randle. Um, I'm not doing it right now. I want to see how this unit gels. I want to see how Brunson, Randle, Ananobi, DiVincenzo, Grimes, Hart, Hartenstein gel together. I'm not ready to trade Julius Randle right now. He's playing his best basketball of his career right now. Got to do it in the playoffs, though. He's got to do it in the playoffs. I've been here and done that two times with Julius. And it's, just, it's unfair. He's so damn good as he misses that second free throw. 112, 106. Julius Randle is so good, he sets his expectations so high. That's how good he is. And they just need him to do that in the playoffs. I continue to say this. I've said this 100 times. If regular season Randle shows up in the playoffs... Not a, lot of want, not a lot of teams are going to want to play the Knicks in the playoffs. If regular season Randall shows up in the playoffs, not a lot of teams are going to want to play us. We'll do a beer shotgun race, me versus Smitty, at the end of the game. We got 1,600 people watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I know there's 38 people watching that are not subscribed. Help us get to 31,000 subs. Help us get to 31,000 subs. Let's get there today. Let's get there today. Come on. 37 away. 37 away. Hit that sub button. If you are subscribed to the channel, type me in the comment section. If you are subscribed to the channel, type me. William Burden. My man. What's up, William? What's up, William? 31 away. 31 away. Randall kind of gave Cat the business today. Randall kind of cooked Cat today. Cat's bitch made. We knew this. <laughs> Adam Vega says, I'm not subscribing. Well, you're already subscribed. So there you go. 30 away. 30 away. Can we get there? As Conley will throw it in, three seconds in the game. Cat will take a three at the buzzer. No good. And the New York Knicks win. They are 1-0 in, oh in the OG Ananobi era. Can we get there? 24 away. What a team win for the New York Knicks. This isn't your mother's Timberwolves team. This isn't the Timberwolves team that's been hanging around the bottom of the Western Conference. This is one of the best teams in the NBA. They came into the day at the top of the West, and the New York Knicks beat them. And it was a convincing win. I know it says it's only a six-point game, but the Knicks had this game in the bag for the better part 
of three quarters. And in large part because of the production that they got from Julius Randle on the offensive end, as well as OG and OB on both sides of the floor. A great game for the New York Knicks today. Brunson struggled shooting the ball, but he had his best career game when it comes to assists. The Knicks need Julius Randle, excuse me, Jalen Brunson to continue to play winning basketball. Julius Randle speaking to Rebecca Harlow. Let's listen to what he has to say. Randle talking about it's a big win against the T-Wolves, one of the best teams in the league. 39 points for Randle. 14 to 24 for the field. Dude just put a 40-piece McNugget on the best defense in the league. OG Ananobi, a team high, plus 19 today. Plus 19. You could feel his impact when he was on the floor. You could feel his impact when he was on the floor. You can, there's a lot of people that are going to talk about this game that did not watch this game. And they're going to go to the box score and they're going to see Anthony Edwards had a really efficient offensive game. But a lot of those buckets were not on OG Ananobi. And when Ananobi was guarding Anthony Edwards, he did a heck of a job. He made him work. He made his life tough. And Ananobi caused Anthony Edwards to have to run off screen after screen after screen. But Ananobi was a huge difference maker in this game. That second quarter had Ananobi's fingerprints all over it. When there was two minutes left in the quarter, the Minnesota Timberwolves were 3 of 11 from the field. And there were times when OG Ananobi, like, you know, stuff that's not even going to show up in, in NBA statistics, like even deep adv advanced statistics, like you know forcing a miss into a long rebound that gets the Knicks out in transition. It was just little things like that that made this game flow easier for the Knicks. Tell you right now, it, if this trade doesn't happen, it's a totally different game, totally different ball game played today. That was just a fun brand of basketball to watch. That's the most fun I've had watching the Knicks this year. And... I mean, think about it like this. The Knicks just beat the Timberwolves by six points, and Jalen Brunson was horrendous when it comes to efficiency and shooting the ball. He was great, man. This team, I mean, Brunson passed the ball really well, but, I mean, whew. Julius Randle, 39 points, nine rebounds, 58% from the field. There's not a lot of people walking this earth that can do that type of stuff. And it wasn't like these were empty stats. The Knicks were struggling offensively in that fourth quarter, and he hit tough bucket after tough bucket after tough bucket, and he sealed this game for the Knicks today. Don't forget Thibodeau throwing Julius Randle to the Wolves with that horrific lineup of Deuce <laughs> McBride and Josh Hart in the backcourt. Like, just telling him to go to work, and he got it done. He did. He absolutely did. OG Ananobi, here's, here's the, the, the box score numbers from his debut. Ananobi, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 58% from the field, 50% from downtown. I hope you guys know, like, give or take a couple points. This is average from OG Ananobi. This is an average OG Ananobi game. Yeah. Like so, this, give or take 2 or 3 points, this is an average OG Ananobi, OG Ananobi game. Like you're you're kinda, getting this you're, every you're, night. You're kind of getting this every night. Every single night. On that efficient, not maybe that, that good of efficiency, but, like, that selective shots, you know, selective shot selection and – High efficiency and good defense. We're getting out of OG and OB. Night in, night out. He was good, man. He really, really was. Margaret says OG made a difference. Yes, ma'am, he did. Brunson. You, you can't complain too much. He got the win. He really, like, he only looked bad shooting the basketball. Like, he didn't look like he was uncomfortable out there. Like, think he was rattled. Just couldn't make shots. Two clutch fourth quarter free throws. Yep. Um, it's hard to complain when a guy gets 14 assists. Um, the Knicks on certain nights don't have 14 assists. Yeah. And uh, uh, Nick Davidov says Brunson needs to go. No, Davidov. No. Stop it. Dude just had 14 assists, and he missed a couple of shots. Imagine if Brunson played good. This might have been a 20-point game. Shout out to this guy, th too, though. Spark plug in the second quarter there, Quinn yeah. Grimes. Yeah. Grimes played really good in that second we, quarter. We forgot about that second quarter in the second half because he kind of disappeared. He didn't. I, I'd be curious to know how many minutes he played in that second half. Yeah. 
Um, but no, I thought Grimes gave you great minutes and great production in that second quarter. Um, hit a couple threes, got out in transition, had that and one. Um, he was great. He was great. Another guy that was great was Isaiah Hardenstein, man. Isaiah Hardenstein was really good. Seven points, nine rebounds, three assists, but so much more than that as well. And how many blocks did they officially give him? Because he definitely blocked two Gobert donks. They officially have Hartenstein at three steals, three blocks. I, Six defensive stops for Hartenstein tonight. Yeah, and that, I, that might not uh, – uh, I bet you the, the blocked alley-oops count as the steals. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Three blocks tonight. He met Gobert at the rim twice. One of them, Gobert, was literally like downhill train full of steam. Like, and he wanted to like punch it on him. And Isaiah Hartenstein just jumped straight up and said, get that shit out of here. Not a lot of people are willing to meet Rudy Gobert at the rim. Uh, and Isaiah Hardenstein played his butt off. The intensity, you felt it from the jump. You felt it from the tip. Uh, this felt like a playoff game in Madison Square Garden, and, and I loved how these Knicks played. And nobody's going to talk about it, but Dante DiVincenzo, heck of a game as well. I think every Nick really played well today. Yeah. Outside of Brunson shooting the ball, I thought everyone played good. Yep. I he, mean, if you can get this out of Dante DiVincenzo, he was making some nice smart cuts. And I he, mean, two of six from three, that's awful for him. Yeah. The guy's shooting almost 40, 50% from three this year. Yep. Um, I mean, him, make, make one more. Yeah, obviously it goes to 50%, but still, like. Him and Ananobi worked really well with each other on the floor. I thought they did well. I, I thought they did too. I thought the spacing was good. Mm -hmm. um, man, it's an overall good game for the Knicks. Fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Murphy says holding the number one team in the East and the West at 106 is not easy. Absolutely. Absolutely. 17 subscribers away. If there's 17 people that are not subscribed, please hit that thumbs up icon or subscribe to the channel. It would be really, really upsetting if we came this close just to come this close. You, wanna, you don't want to come this close and not, not get a reward. You know what I'm talking about. All righty, we did get some super chats coming in. William Burden, my man, with a $20 super chat. William Burton, we appreciate you. Thank you for always supporting this channel. An absolute legend. Eric Trump with a $5 super chat. Biggest difference maker is Marsh yelling into the mic. Look, man, I love this team. We get excited. That's what you're going to get. That was a lot of fun today. That felt like one of those playoff games versus the Cavs or against the Heat. One thing as I'm watching the highlights now, Smitty, how many times did we see Aiden and Obi cut and throw it down? Aiden and Obi cutting off ball. The ability to be a vertical leaper around that restricted area and rise up and throw it down with two. Did he? Have, he had a clutch corner, right corner three in the in the fourth. Brunson drove and kicked it to him. Yup. That made it like a nine point game. Like it was like a two possession, three, three possession game before he hit that. Shout out to Eric Trump. OG in the dunker spot. It, it helped. And then what about the what about the stops OG had on Cat? Because Cat got, got hot in that fourth quarter. He cut it to four with 6.30 to go. And then Brunson got the steal. OG had the stop on Amp. Brunson got the steal, kicked it to Randall, and Randall laid it up in transition. And then 107-102, Randall drives, layup, and one. How did they not show the OG and Anobi right corner three off the Brunson drive? Eric Trump, we appreciate you. As we got Nick... Davidov! Davidov, we appreciate you. He says, we need Donovan Mitchell. I will say, a game like this, uh, you do see the need for another shot creator. Um, I'm not saying you need Donovan Mitchell, but what you need is another guy that can go get a bucket and create for others. And another guy that can go and get a bucket and create for others. Um, I would I think I think Mitchell makes sense now that you have Ananobi. Uh he he shores up a lot on the defensive end. I do worry though that if you play a team with a good guard and a good wing offensively, you're not going to be able to you're going to have two guys that are going to be hunted. You can't it's hard to hide two guys. It's hard to hide two guys. 9 subscribers away. Nine subscribers away. Hit that sub button. 
J-Rock, oh me, oh me, oh my. J-Rock, so I'll take Jordan Clarkson. I'm looking for something better than Clarkson. I'm looking for something better than Clarkson. I don't think you have to get it all in one day, though. Like, that's why I think this is a good right direction move for the Knicks. I don't think you need to be all in for this season. No, but like... You want to be as best as you can for this season, I think... You have, 18, you have $19 million expiring in Fournier. You have to use that. Have to use it. And you have draft picks to attach to that. Yep. So what does three protected first-round picks and one unprotected in Fournier get you? Probably got, does get you DeJounte Murray. I think that does. Um, and, that, and that leaves you still in a good spot to go get someone else. Yep. Um, and at that point, you gotta think of, you, that, at that point, you're thinking about trading Randall. Like, I don't know, man. He keeps... He plays like this in the playoffs. You ain't trading him. No. Got to do it, though. Seven subscribers away. We can Are we going to get there today? Can we get there today? Can we get there today? I know <laughs> seven of you aren't subscribed. We got 800, 800 people watching. Can, now can, people are unsubscribing. Now we're unsubscribing. Y'all trying to be funny? Y'all trying to be 31,000? Should to, we just shut it off? Oh, maybe we just shut it off. Maybe we get to do the shotgun Oh, my soon. God. Let's do the beer shotguns. Do you want one of these or you want something else? Death Row, do you want Death Row? It is? Here. If you want to use the tool to crack it open. Nick Davidoff says, Murray can't play with Brunson with the same backcourt. I don't necessarily agree. I don't necessarily agree. And the reason I say that I think DeJounte Murray, as we're five subscribers away, uh, and, and Jalen Brunson can work together is because I think Trey Young has to be on ball to be effective. And we've seen that Jalen Brunson does not have to be on ball to be effective. Jalen Brunson last year shot almost 50% on catch and shoot threes, the number one percentage among all players that scored more than 18 points per game. I also believe the reason it would be different than Atlanta is because the Knicks have an all NBA player in Julius Randle. The Atlanta Hawks, outside of DeJounte Murray and Trey Young, don't have an all NBA player. And on top of that, we also have OG and Anobi. We also have OG and Anobi, four subscribers away. Um, I think it could work. Is it the ideal fit? No. Is it? But when are you ever going to get the ideal fit? Like no one's roster is one hundred percent gelled. Oh yeah, you're not going to get much better than OG and Anobi. In my opinion, what you need at that two guard is a shot creator for himself and others, and a, and a lengthy defender. And I think Dejounte Murray does that. Does he shoot the three as well as I would like? No, but he's shooting almost 40% this year. So you can't really. Two subscribers away. Three subscribers away. Who's going to be 30,000? Once we get to 30,000, we'll do the beer shotgun race. One subscriber away. <laughs> hey! Let's go. We got to 31. You're good. Let's do Let's it. Go. Drop 31s in the chat. Cheers. Let's go, Knicks. <laughs> Smitty smoked me. You smoked me, brother. You smoked me. Woo! <sighs> oh, that's brutal. That's rude, brutal. Woo! As Nick Davidov with another $20 super chat. Shout out to Davidov. He wants Donovan Mitchell. Do you want Donovan Mitchell on the Knicks? Type Y for yes and for no. Do you guys want Donovan Mitchell on the Knicks? Type Y for yes and for no. Creed says, get Murray. We are contenders. Beat anyone with that. Eyeball and emojis. I'll buy eyeball emojis for Nick Davidov in the chat, by the way. Um, what do you think is a better fit, Smitty, as a Celtics fan? What do you think makes the Knicks more dangerous? Oh, more dangerous is Mitchell. I, it's, there's no if Your offense about is it. pretty damn good. Our offense is really good. Um, like today's game kind of showed me you may need a guy like that. I've seen Donovan Mitchell take over postseason basketball games before. Like, he can go get you 50 in a playoff setting. Because we saw in that fourth quarter, Smitty, when Brunson was off, of, off on offense, the Knicks were kind of struggling for hoops. And that's the only reason that the Timberwolves kind of came back. And I think regardless of a Donovan Mitchell trade, you, you're going to need a 
an additional ball handler um, in this lineup, no doubt about it. Like, you're gonna you you're, you want to trade for Murray? You want to trade for Mitchell? That's fine. I still think you're another ball handler off the bench away. Like you, th- that lineup of Deuce McBride and, and DiVincenzo, they couldn't get past half court. Could you run though 48 minutes of point guard play? Yeah, Murray and Brunson in game at oh, all time. They always make it work. I mean, look look at the way the Celtics are right now. Like they they mix and match, you know, starters and bench players in different lineups and whatnot. Because Brunson, Br- Murray, uh, excuse me, Mitchell could play point. Mitchell can play point. I'm just not the most confident. Like he is, a, if he's a point guard, he's still looking to score first. Yeah, that's just not what I want. I want every time. I can rock with though 15 minutes of Don and Mitchell playing point guard. Yeah, yeah. See, look, look at this. Look, look, look at Dre in the chat. Just, just being a casual. Definitely did not watch the game. Anthony Edwards cooked OG at 35 points, 52 percent. She's like, we do. Did we not just say I, that? We literally said that. Did we not just say that 10 minutes ago? Everyone type L's in the chat for that guy. L's in the chat for that guy. He didn't watch. OG did not cook. I mean, Ant did not cook OG. I don't think Anthony Edwards scored on OG more than six points. No. L's in the chat for that take, because that is an awful take, and you're just talking. D-Music, how do those beer chugs work if you're opening the can from the bottom oh. and chugging from the top? D-Music, not aware of the shotgun. This is your introduction to shotguns. So, the be- so this is how it works. So, when you open up a beer tab or a soda tab for that, anything with carbonation in it, it releases some air pressure from the top. So when you poke that hole in the bottom and then flick it up from the top, that air pressure comes back from the bottom, makes you drink it fast. And you're holding the can up, and there's just a hole in the bottom. Yeah, naturally, gravity's going to make you leave the can, too. Yeah. If you so want to try, just poke a can, a hole in the can in the bottom. Make sure you do it where like you're leaning it like this. So there's a little bit of air like bubble. That, there's, a, there's an air bubble. Yeah. And you crack the air bubble, and then it's... And then the holes here, tops here. Gravity. See now, Creed, Creed does not like the small guard uh, idea here. Creed says DM is too small. We need someone that, and, and that's a that's a valid concern, right? On that level, but big, yeah. Who are you gonna get, Aunt Edwards? Like that's that's who you're describing right now. Somebody on the level of Donovan Mitchell with the size that you need at the two guard today. Is the best player in the NBA. It's the best player in the NBA. It's, it's Michael Jordan, dude. Yeah. Like. Nick Davidov, I got to start looking. I got to start looking. Uh, I will be in contact with you, Davidov. I have your email. Um, uh, I got I to find a time I can go out there, and it's probably going to be in February. February is the best time for me to go out to a Knicks game. Yeah. Once I find one, Davidov, I will let you know. Uh, I just got to slow down and relax for a second. A lot of stuff been going on. Frank Serrano in the building. What up, Frankie? Creed, we appreciate you guys. Shout out to everyone for subscribing. 31,000 subs. Um, We're going to sign off on today's show. We've been live for three hours and 20 minutes. Shout out to everybody. And now the people unsubscribing, shout out to you guys as well. You guys are the best. Um, What a win. What a win. Uh, I mean... What more can you ask of from OG Ananobi in his debut? He showed you what he could be on offense. He showed you what he could be on defense. And he showed you, in my opinion, that when he's out there, the Knicks are just a bigger team. They're a bigger team. They're better defensively. They're better on the boards. Yeah, they're harder to, they're harder to play against. Um, all righty. We love you guys. Shout out to everybody that showed up. Shout out to everybody that showed love. We will be live on Wednesday for the game. And we'll be live on Friday for the game. We'll have a video out on the channel tomorrow. Until then, let's go Knicks.